ドに奪われたピーチ姫の声を取り戻すためマリオとルイージがマメイリア王国で大冒険ブラザーアクションで謎を解きブラザーアタックで敵をやっつけろゲームボーイアドバンスマリオルイージ RPG Hello. Oh gosh darn it, I left that on again, didn't I? I did. I w Ah! Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How do you do? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the stream. It's a Friday. It is Friday. Hi. <laughs> I was gonna say something and I've already forgotten what that thing was. Well, hey, at least now we've seen that the transition from one slide to the next works. Um, hopefully it didn't blow out your ears. Yay! Hi everybody. Let me see who's 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 here. Uh, hello and welcome, Mario Simpson, Jay, Luna, Gaming Yoshi Fanatic, Cherry, and Aiden Garcia. Also, by the way, Aiden Garcia, happy birthday! Since it is your birthday today, happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Yeah, I uh, hope you have a wonderful birthday today. Also, hello, Bladed Fox fourteen. Welcome to the stream. But yes, uh, Jay, to answer your question, there is. Uh, an ad for this game from the 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 Hot Mario uh, line of ads. I intend on showing that next week. Um, I I I was looking through. I was like, man, how many commercials are there for Superstar Saga? And I'm like, there's actually there's a you know there's surprisingly a lot of commercials for this game between both the English commercials and the Japanese commercials. There's like four Japanese commercials. I haven't even shown the commercials. For the 3DS version, which you would think would be, I would be showing, which would be appropriate to show because we're actually playing the 3DS version. But the Game Boy Advance commercials are a lot more fun. Um, the 3DS commercials are a little more, eh, you know, they're 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 not as good. And I figure I'll probably never, unless I stream the the Game Boy Advance version at some point, which who knows, maybe I will, a um, couple years from now, maybe. Um, I figured I'll never really have another chance to show off the, the, the GBA commercials, and they're really cool, so I might as well. Uh, and that one that I played at the start today, that's like my favorite Mario commercial ever. That one is so cool. We've never... I, 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 I wish they had, they had just redone, or just like re-aired that commercial in like HD when the 3DS version came out, because, oh, that that, that, that commercial is, is, is so good. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well this week. Uh, let me see. Gideon, I have art soon. Oh! Hey, Gideon, I might have some art I want to show later today on stream. If that's okay, that is perfectly okay. That's never not okay. Um, I would love to see it. Yeah. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, the Wahoo stream where we can also discuss a recent issue of a certain Jerboa. Yes! Uh, Fang the Hunter issue 3 came out last week, and my copy of it showed up really quickly. It showed up, like, right on time. Uh, if actually it didn't just show up on time, it showed up early. Um, I was expecting it to arrive on Tuesday, and instead it actually arrived on Saturday. It arrived the day after last stream, which was really nice. Um, so I got to to read it earlier than I expected. I got to to to, to really digest it sooner than I thought. Uh, I have thoughts, many many much thoughts on it, which I will absolutely share this week. Um, and we will absolutely be be open. To, to discussing it. Um, Amy Yoshi Fanatic, you sent me some art. Ooh. Ooh. I saw this earlier in the week, but I'll show this off now because it's really good art. This is really good art. Let me just uh, da, 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 save this to my desktop. My desktop, which is my mess, as always. But would it be my desktop if it wasn't a mess? That is... That is the question I must ask myself um, on, a, on a daily basis, hourly at times. Here we have some art from Gaming Yoshi Fanatic of his OC, Jonathan. And I just got to slowly make it smaller and smaller so I can fit it in OBS because OBS is like that sometimes. And this is really good art. I saw this earlier in the week and I really like this. Very strong pose. Uh, my guy is here to, to chew gum and take names and kick ass, and he's all out of, of, of gum. So you know what he's here for. Um, this art is just, this is spectacular stuff right here. 
Um, really good. I really like the pose here. And the background is nice too. Simple but effective. There's something about just like putting the main art in the background but slightly transparent with just some, some colors here and there. It's so simple but so effective and works so well. This is great art, my guy, as always. Wonderful work. Um, I'm legit really proud of this one. You should be because it's good. Um, this is good art. Howdy, Teeter. Welcome to stream. I'm here. I exist. Cooking food, but I'm here. Lost track of time. Teeter, what you cooking? What you what you cooking, my guy? Let him cook. Let him cook. Um, I feel like something happened this week as well, aside from just Fang, that was worth talking about. And I just, I don't remember what it was. Um, let me just uh, make sure I've got, let me just get my, my totally legitimate 3DS up running and ready to roll um i i wound up in my spare time uh fiddling with some settings on the totally legitimate 3ds because as you can as you know you can fiddle with your 3ds's settings um i'm actually getting a little warm i think i'm gonna take off my sweat my sweatshirt either way um and hopefully hopefully i can resolve some of the hopefully i have resolved some of the chunkiness um from last week because when i thought i was so uh, Jay had instructed me when we played uh, Luigi's Mansion how to overclock the totally legitimate 3DS. And I thought I was doing that again last week. No, I wasn't doing that. I was just increasing the speed at which the game ran, not the speed of the processor itself. Uh, so that's, that's not what you're supposed to do. So during the week this week, I figured out how to actually increase the speed of the console, not of the game. And so I think it's going to run just a little bit better this week, um, which will be nice. We like it when, when things run correctly and when things run well. Um, so hopefully we won't walk into an area that has a lot of water in it and suddenly be running at 20% slower of a speed than normal, um, if not slower. Yeah. Let me just... Da, 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 da. Here, you know what we'll do? Whoa. Does Gideon know how to use screen transitions or does Gideon know how to use screen transitions? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I don't know why we're watching the full title screen again. Uh, <laughs> um, before we begin... Oh, I don't have that option from the title screen yet. Okay, before we begin with the story, uh, like just picking up and resuming with, with Mario and Luigi, uh, you'll note things are running a little bit faster now. Um, I'll make a poll, and I'll see what you guys would like to do. Should we just keep going uh, from where we were, or should we, should we check out Minion Quest for a few minutes? As I said near the end last week, um, as I said near the end of the stream last week, I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time on Minion Quest simply because it's not the most engaging part of the game. Uh, it's very much so an idle game in many respects. Um, but I would like to give it at least a little bit of time. I'll check it out at some point tonight probably. Um, but I figure, hey, maybe should we start off with it? Should we keep going for now? Um, I'll let you guys. I'll let, I'll let you guys decide. Yeah. Fancy transitions are fancy, aren't they? Aren't they great? I made that. Thanks. I, I, I'll have to check the Spriter's resource to see what the name of the uh, the guy that ripped the sprites for that were. Um, Cherry, you sent art. Cherry sent art. While well, you guys vote, I'm going to check out the art Cherry sent. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Look at the two of cherry may i do you mind if i show this because this is adorable and i love it also live chat thank you I, I you know whenever you pop the chat out of the window so it's a separate window on its own it resets the chat from top from live to top so i i, I need that reminder <laughs> If anything, I say do Minion Quest at the end, but meh, that's fair. I thought about doing it close to the end last time, but I figure we'll get it out of the way. You know, that that, that was my, my, my train of thought. Show them only if you have live chat. Well, I have live chat, so we shall show them. 
but you know what? Let's let's go somewhere a little bit more uh, with, with with nicer music before I show them. I almost forgot. Nice feature of this of this version of Superstar Saga is I I, I was quickly rushing to get through Castle Town last week because I was like, oh I got I gotta find a save block I gotta find a save block so I can save and quit. You can save at any time in this version, and I I may or may not have slightly forgotten you could do that. Um, yeah. It also re that's when you click away for too long. Oh, does it? Thank you, YouTube. YouTube, you're you guys are just so you guys are just so cool. Um, see, after I cook and eat my food, I have a food picture for you. I love food pictures. They make me hungry, but I love them nonetheless. Cherry did this art, and it's adorable. Look at them. Any, any of you guys seen the new Godzilla and King Kong movie? I haven't, but gosh darn it, if they look like this in the movie, I, I'd go see it. Look, I love them. I love I, I, I love the, the Donkey Kong inspiration with King Kong's tie. And this Godzilla is... He's just a little guy. He's just a little man. And he's adorable. And I love him. I love I love the shape of his eyes. And his little his little hands are great. This is some spectacular art. I love this. I love this a lot. I, I would put them on a shelf. I'd put them on a shelf and they would sit on the shelf and they would just observe things. I love them. I'm going you know what? They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna go over here. <laughs> there we go. They're like the bros. They're bros. They're bros now. I like them a lot. Thank you for them, Cherry. Thank you for showing them. Alrighty, so we've got eight votes, sixty-two percent of the vote. Oh, nine votes, fifty-six. Per oh, yeah, fifty-six percent of the vote goes to yes, and forty-four percent of the vote goes to no. So the the yeses have it. So we shall we'll check out Minion Quest for a little bit, uh, which is probably going to be some absolutely riveting uh, touchscreen gameplay. I'm really glad I have an alternate overlay already set up for that. Minion quest. Save and begin. Oh, oh, this has its own little title screen. I didn't realize. I forgot. Godzilla and King Kong, Superstar Saga. I like. This game has amiibo support. I don't know how to use amiibo with my totally legitimate 3DS. So we're probably not going to see um anything that is related to amiibo. <laughs> A few hours ago, aboard the Koopa Cruiser. Okay, food's done. Who's coming over? Alright, everybody. Hop in. We're going to Minnesota. Tina's got some food. I can't believe I got stomped again. Oh, well. I'll beat that stupid Mario next time. Let's band together next time. Strength in numbers, Adam and all. That gives me an idea. Us Goombas should, should up our game. Get some respect for a change. Hey, what are you whispering about? Keep quiet, will ya? Minion, are you done yet? Oh, that's not Bowser. That, That's the children. Oh, it's the children. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't know how to draw Kong. He's really... He really is just a big monkey. So I kind of just drew DK. I mean, that's fine. Listen, listen. Don't just listen. Just don't... Don't tell, don't tell Universal. Just don't tell Universal that you were inspired by Donkey Kong for this King Kong design. Because Universal wasn't very happy with Nintendo when Nintendo first made Donkey Kong. Uh, so just don't tell them. <laughs> you can't... I mean, listen. Donkey Kong is just a big monkey. King Kong is just a big monkey. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. Oh, Master Roy, of course. I just finished loading the last Goomba to the Goomba Barrel. They have specific Goomba barrels. Listen up, Goomba trash. Are you nice and comfortable in those dumb barrels? Wow. <laughs> you normally just pop out of the grounds and get stomped, right? I wonder why Lord Bowser even keeps you worms around. Oh my goodness. You do not disrespect Go Those Goombas have been around before you were even a sketch in a notebook, Wendy. Yeah, he's got the Koopa Links. What more does he need? Let's see. Uh, don't worry, John Kirby completely whooped Universal in the early 80s. This is true. 
This is true. Was it ever confirmed? Was it ever confirmed whether or not um, John Kirby was the inspiration for Kirby's name? John Kirby, not to be mistaken with the comic book artist John Kirby, two completely different John Kirbys. It, it needs to be specified. And yours truly will be <clears throat> and yours truly will be played a big part this time. Huge. Let's be real. I always play the biggest parts in our schemes. <laughs> we got a jokester here. You want to fight about it? <laughs> Idiots. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, Goomba trash. You scrubs won't, won't be needed this time. Just, just stay put and pretend you have a shot at greatness. Fun fact about the whole King Kong Donkey Kong case, it was rumored that Nintendo had a had a risk for bankruptcy had Universal won the case. Honestly, that's very likely because punitive damages and, and things like that that companies sue for when, when they believe copyright has been infringed can often cost like millions in dollars. So yeah, that, that could have bankrupt Nintendo. I wouldn't have been surprised by that. Oh, but how the tables turn, yeah. Enemy attack, my lordship! The cruiser has been has taken a hit! Unacceptable! We'd better go and save the day! Yeah, let's wreck house! Wait, I'm afraid it's too late for that! Huh? The culprit's already been defeated? Not exactly, my ladiness. I'm afraid the main engine has sustained heavy damage. The Koopa Cruiser will explode any minute! Say what? <laughs> very, very insightful there, uh, Larry. Very, very insightful. No, Iggy. I'm sorry, Iggy. Larry's the one with the blue mohawk. The story of minions. It unfolds as Mario and Luigi embark on their adventure all of their own. With the explosion of the Koopa Cruiser, Bowser's minions were sent flying off to several distant locations. One lone Goomba, with ample gumption, who has been knocked unconscious in a far-off land, is in for a rude awakening. Goomba. Look at him. It's a little guy. What? Where am I? Where's Lord Bowser? Well, you're in a cave. Iggy's a silly palm tree looking goober. He is! Where are my fellow minions? Hello? Is anyone out there? Hello? This is bad. I'm all alone and I have no idea where I am. Yikes! What's with that rumbling? I guess I should try looking outside? I'm, I'm on a mountain? Very perceptive, Mr. Goomba. I wonder if the other minions are nearby. I hope Lord Bowser's okay. Well, there he, we, 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 we have hearing of Bowser. There he goes! Flying through the air! So this is where the lonely Goomba showed up later. It's him, guys. It's a lonely Goomba stuck between two rocks. Is that Lord Bowser? Go get him. Oh, no. I should... I should... I should limber up with some warm-up exercises. Kablam! Kapow! Oh, yeah! I'm ready for action now! He, he, he's using that head bonk. He's going with that Paper Mario-style combat. Okay! So here we have uh, a screen. We have one Goomba. Where's the part where he triggers the entire Kirby fandom? What? 
Okay, we ha okay, go against Beanie. We're fighting Beanie. I might have to swap the screens here. Maybe? Ah! What is that freaky monstrosity? Hey, I heard that. Back at ya, uggo. Whoa, that weird bean thing just talked. Why? Why wouldn't I talk? That is ignorance right there. Oh, um, I, I guess that came out wrong. You're not a weird bean. You're just a, a great bean. Stop joking around, freak. Say your last words. Oh, Lord, he coming. Oh, we're fighting. Should I swap the screens? No, okay, we're good. I'm only used to fighting Mario, but now I'm just keep, keep bashing. Battle one, start. And now we watch. This is, this is Minion Quest. Isn't this riveting gameplay, everyone? Hmm. We're both at low HP at the moment. I need something to secure the win. Oh. He's, he's glowing. Top 10 anime battles, I know, right? Psh, Dragon Ball ain't got nothing on this. All right, time to show you the fruits of my labor. I'll jump like the mustachioed fiend and then stomp down hard. Right on your stupid head! I'm still, I, I have, all I have pressed is A to advance. Oh, we get to press the A button. Just gotta press the A button when I collide with my flow. Bonk. I did it. Yeah, baby! That was awesome. Turns out my special skill is epic. Epic gamer Goomba. We did it. Wow. Go get him, epic Goomba gamer man. Did, got a little heat. Oh boy, we're gonna fight another one. Final battle start. Oh boy. What? More enemies. I wonder how many more battles await me. Oh, right. Pressing start will show how many battles I have left. I'll put that know-how to good use. Wait a second. Goomba doesn't have fingers. <laughs> you sent a horse, of course. I, I could... I, I, that... I'm gonna check out the horse. I'm gonna go to Twitter. Uh, Captain Goomba, you, you let me know if you need anything, buddy. Uh... Oh, he's, he's jumping. I got him. Oh! <gasps> The, the horse, of course. I forget what this horse is named. It, this one has a name, too. We did it! I am very invested in Minion Quest gameplay. But really, who's gonna be our captain? We need one of those. I can tell you who it's gonna be. I can tell you who it ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be me, that's who. Being captain comes with a lot of responsibility. Aw, oh, dang, yeah, I'm up to. Oh, great, typical. More weird bean things. Oh, wait. Those are those are your own kinfolk, Mr. Goomba. That gorgeous shape is oddly familiar. My, my, my comrades! Gideon, you literally played Sticker Star. Yeah, well, at least Sticker Star required me to press A more than once every minute. <laughs> Gideon, he has hidden fingers he has never shown. Exactly. They're just, he's hiding his, his fingers. Doesn't want to hurt him. What's your deal? Oh, <clears throat> sorry. I was so overjoyed, I, I, I had to hug it out. You know how it goes. Goombas don't hug it out. But we're Bowser's minions, bound by honor and occasional actual awkward hug. Now then, shall we venture out, my fellow Goomba brethren? Shall we? Shall we? What's with you get all chummy so quickly? It's not a very minion-y. Hey, you know, this might be a good idea after all. We could use another member of the squad. I've already mixed up these voices. Yeah, that's true. And we can stick him with, uh, I mean, uh, give him that super special position. What's this? 
Super special. What now? Speak up, I say. He's got a flag. Look at him. Whatever it is, I promise to rise to the challenge. Cool. Together we'll find our fellow minions and rebuild the ranks. Ooh, I love this plan. It's great and grand. Going alone is scary. It's not the Goomba way. A good old-fashioned team-up is the way to go. Yes, indeed. Just one question. What's with this flag? It's one. The, the, the one up there. Oh, that flag. Oh. Jesus guy sure is slow on the uptake. He doesn't seem to get it. That weird thing among the bobber? That means you're the captain. Yeah, oh boy, it sure looks great on you, special even. I see. So I'm the captain. Me! <laughs> Love it. All right, let's do this, team. Follow my lead, quick like. Woo! There they go. Yeah, no, sorry, this isn't working for me. I can't do this. The dizzying heights of Captain Dumber beyond my reach. Just look at me. I don't even have arms. Well, negative on the him secretly having fingers part. I'm just a Goomba. Untold numbers of us have been stomped by Mario's stupid boots. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Only fewer words. And less dramatic. But I could tell right away, you were the one I feel as captain. You've, you've got minion spirit and pizzazz and um, dynamic eyebrows. Sure, but... A squad's not a squad without a captain. That's the facts. Just look at the square jaw. It screams, born to lead. That flag you got is even sparkling just for you. Is it really? That's uncanny. That word has been ruined by recent memes. The captain. Captain this guy. Definitely has a, a, good, a nice ring to it. But can I really do it? Is that allowed? Yep, yep. We need you, Cap. <laughs> well then, this changes things considerably. Don't. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Wow, Cap is something else. He can do it. Yeah, he's so simple. It's kind of charming. Bet we could get him to do anything if we stroked his ego long enough. <laughs> huh? Did you say something? Nope, nothing. By the way, uh, you look super cool when you, when you smash your head in the ground like that. Really? <laughs> I'm cool. Such are the events that led to our fearless Goomba becoming Captain Goomba. Captains have a lot of responsibility. They're easy targets for opponents. In fact, the enemy's main goal is to defeat the captain. It won't take Captain Goomba long to learn just how difficult his new job really is. Yippee! Our Goomba leveled up. The go-to soldiers among Bowser's minions, they move fast and charge into foes. We got three of them. I'm gonna, I'm, so firstly, Cherry sent this horse, of course, um, who shall accompany our other horse. He is a friend. We must come up with a name for our new horse friend. I forget what the name of the first horse friend was, um, but he could use a name too. Suggestions for horse friend name are 100% open. And Luna sent some goobers my way. <gasps> may the fellas be on stream the fellas may always be on stream there is always room for fellas on stream you will never get a no from me with these fellas being on stream Bark's doing a little knitting uh, spoilers this is your spoiler warning for Fang the Hunter issue number 3 uh, if you haven't read it yet if you intend on reading it yet it might, might not be the best stream I'm speaking about it this week absolutely Bark does a little knitting. That's all. In his spare time, you know? Gotta keep warm. I wanna know, I wanna know who this scarf is for. My theory, my theory was that maybe it's either for Amy or it's for Bean. 
That's my theory. Maybe Bark wants to make up to Amy for them stealing her pie, so he's making her a scarf. Or he's making one for his little buddy, so his little buddy doesn't get cold either. That's that's my theory about Bark's new scarf making. It's right over there. It's right over there. Can, you can see it, right? I can see it. You can see it. We can all see it. This this fang deserves to be a new meme format. Like let let for Wojaks are old. Let's get him out of here. We need Fang to point at things. Po pointing Fang is all I need in life. I love him so much. Boop. Let's do like I I am already slowly losing my patience for uh <laughs> For minion quest. I'm already a little bored with it. Uh, which is a shame, because it's funny. There's a lot of dialogue here. There's just not much game. Uh, Gideon said it was for Amy. I said it was for Bean. I've seen some people say it was for himself. Why? Okay, listen, listen. Bark is a really nice guy. I don't think Bark would make a second scarf for himself. I think he would make it for somebody else's gift. He's a big sweetheart, after all. Just making something just for himself. That's not Bark's style. Don't IRL Jerboas squeak? To my knowledge, they do. Here we go. Are we going right into the fight? We are. In... It's time. Hey, Cap. A battle has begun. Oh, I should mention that the flag, it, that the, the fight ends when the captain bites the dust. If you fall, it doesn't matter if our fellow minions are still at it. It's all over. What? Is that true? That's a lot of pressure. True, but the same goes for our opponent's team, too. If we take down the captain of the opposing squad, we win. So let us worry about taking down the enemies and defeat their captain. You'll just try to focus on not being a big loser. I mean, on not losing. So everything will be dandy so long as I stand, stand strong and don't fall in battle. Got it. Sounds like being a captain isn't as hard as I thought. Okie dokie. Let's move out. Fellow Goombas, give it your all. Let's see. My food is done. Sending you the surprise. Ooh. Gideon, are you saying that Bark only owns one pair of clothes? No, I'm just saying that if Bark was to make himself a second scarf, he would probably make himself a second green scarf. Because clearly if he has one, he probably made it. It's probably his favorite color, you know? Or something like that. Something along those lines. Does he not have PJs? What about fancy occasions? What about his Christmas Santa outfit? Christmas Santa outfit is a white scarf. PJs, absolutely. Fancy occasions, they'd probably make something you know, a bit more like a black scarf, for, you know? All cartoon characters only wear one pair of clothes. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. All cartoon characters wear multiple clothes. In fact, they have a closet full of clothes that's just the same shirt and pants repeating. I live by a very similar dress code. This is the, this is the whole game, by the way. This is all Minion Quest is. So being the captain is tough after all. What an emotional roller coaster. Beep. Gideon, that's not a white scarf. That's his chest for... Oh. You are correct. I'm wrong. I will admit I'm wrong. The music here is pretty good, though. I mean, it's Yoko Shimamura. Yoko Shimamura never misses. She made some really good stuff here. I will admit, I was a little sad that of all the uh, the Mario and Luigi... No, I cannot. We had buffering for a second there. Um, buffering during minion quest, you're probably not going to... Are we back? And we're back. Optimum didn't like that I was smack-talking them, that's all. But... It's all going to be okay. Want to know why it's all going to be okay? Because we got Super Mario Brothers 2 Nintendo Ice Cream Sandwich. Thank you, Teeter. That's why we. That's why everything's okay. Ice cream makes everything okay. And it is today. Because as we say, neatness counts. And once again, Mario, you got a little spaghetti sauce on your overalls. Oh, thank you, Luigi. And as usual, you got a little spaghetti on your overalls. More Goombas. 
Wow! Holy crap, this might be Mario and Luigi. It just might. G-Mine Brew, welcome to the stream. My friends, thank goodness you're safe. This is great. You folks can join up with us too. More soldiers, huh? Um, can we chat real quick? What's on your mind, Cap? That's just it. Being captain. Well, it isn't easy. Yes, and? Hello, just checking out random people's streams. How is everyone tonight? Doing well, and thanks for popping by, Supersonic Forever. Welcome to the stream. Could have fooled me. That captain bit you had going earlier was glorious. You're a natural. Hard to explain how I know. It's a good thing. Yeah, that's the truth. You got swagger to spare. And that's half the job of being captain. Probably. Huh. I thought you guys weren't even watching. Oh, uh, so you noticed that one. Uh, you noticed that. Sharp one, this guy. You don't get it, do you? We felt it in our blood. Goombas have blood? A apparently Goombas have blood now. Oh, okay. That's, that's news to me. There was this captain -y aura. It was all whoa and wow. It helped us relax into the fight, just as you intended. I have a captain -y aura? That's awesome. Totally, totally, pretty much. My own aura, huh? Now you mention it, I think I can see my aura too. It's purple. What a boy. Gideon, I don't think your internet likes this game. I don't think so either. <laughs> okay, let's move. Max aura power, go! He's Lucario. He's so... Where's he going? That's our captain for you. Huh. I think I can see that R too. He should get that checked out. Youch! Who's responsible for this? Who built a wall here? All right. An aura of stupidity. Totally, 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 pretty much. Poor Captain Goomba, he, he can't get a break. We got an extra Goomba, two Goombas actually, we got two Goombas. We haven't even gotten into the, the stat tree yet. You sent Barks? You sent Barks, I love Barks. Oh my goodness, no, actually you're right. I'm, I will stand corrected. Listen, I am I am not above admitting when I was wrong. And I will admit. Listen, I, 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 I'm not above admitting when I'm wrong. And that's often, and that's okay. And you know what? I was wrong. He does not wear a white scarf in his Santa Claus. And you know what? Every stream needs a little bit more Bark the Polar Bear. So this is this is a good thing. This is a welcome addition. This is a welcome addition to my stream. Buffer 24-7. No, no, it's not. I'm going to just buffer in between the hours of 7.30 and 12 o'clock on Fridays. <laughs> Captain, before we move out, you should take a look at the squad status. I sending things to him may be causing no you're good you sending me things is not the cause it has been kind of a, a rainy day and very windy um the past two days the past two days so that that's probably why i know there's a lot to swallow so for now
boy, oh boy, it's a, it's a good night for internet. We've already chosen which quest to do next to the bottom screen, but now... Look there! It shows the level of enemy squad that'll appear in the next quest. If you want to level up your troops, you can revisit past quests. Or you could just go up ahead if you think you could if you think you could win despite the level difference. What's that? You want something to turn the tides on other units' levels? Something other than levels. Ah, I know. You've also got bonus skills on your side. See that? Oh, that's a bonus skill. That can increase your stats based on the units you're sending into battle. This one here activates when you have five or more Goombas in your squad. There are tons of different bonus skills, so try so try lots of different squad formations. Keep fighting and recruiting new minions whenever possible. Okay. You can view a list of your bonus skills in the skills section of the records menu. The records menu can be found on the minion quest title screen. Well, I do not feel like doing some grinding, so I think we'll just hop into the next level. For the love of hammers. Finally, you fellas would know about the finest things in life. So you blokes have a love of a hammers, do you? Naturally, we're the, they're the best. Finally, someone gets us. Who knew there were other people who shared our passion for hammers? Of course, hammers can make any meaning impactful. Ha! There's a guy called Mario who's also quite skilled with a hammer. But you two are nothing to sneeze at either. No sorry. Mario, that loser doesn't know a hammer from a nail. When it comes to hammers, we're the experts. Ha! I love a, I love how smug you guys are. All right, it's decided. Started today, you fellas are part of the family. We're the brothers now. Mallet, it's a time to rebuild. I gotta make a new workshop. I would have loved to have been able to sing this funny song for the audience at home. But with how crazy my internet connection is, I don't even know if you would have heard it. <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh! Uh... No way. Not happening. We're not going back. We've already decided to live as a family with these guys. Sorry about Lord Bowser. Send him our best regards. I don't understand. Lord Bowser's in big trouble right now. What? what? Really? Come on. Why don't you join us? Pretty please? His situation seems completely... Oh. Another blabbering and wasting of time. Let's settle this right now. With the battle. Oh, I like the sound of that. Let's fight, Goomba. Huh? What? Really? This got out of hand fast. These losers had to do whatever the winner says. Terror makes it all. I believe the phrase is a winner takes all. I mean, technically, thinner makes tall does make sense because, like, if you take a glass, like a two ounce glass, a, a short two ounce glass and a tall two ounce glass, technically, it's the same amount, even if it's a different size. I have no idea what's happening, but I've got to win this. Let's do this! To battle! Oh boy. Hey, Cap! Those traitors are ranged troopers who like to throw hammers. Criminy! Ranged troopers? Uh, what does that mean? Last but not least, melee troopers! Charging fearlessly into enemies. So us Goombas are melee troopers? You're a sharp one, Cap. Now I'm gonna tell you something. 
It's extremely important, so listen up. You, uh, have my attention. As I said, ranged troopers throw weapons to attack. That means they specialize in fighting against flying troopers. Think of us as a power triangle. Strengths and weaknesses. In other words, we smash into dudes. Yep, you'll figure out the rest along the way. Got it? Let's go. Right, let's keep moving. Should have been Goomba and not Izzy the Piranha Plant. <laughs> Goomba Squad, move out! Oh. I'll do a little internet speed test. <laughs> All right, let's see. How's that upload speed looking? It's not looking bad. It's looking like we're holding. Okay, you guys probably didn't miss much. We got the description of how the weapon triangle works. I missed the timing on that attack. Uh, now we have some Goombas. I'm sorry, getting in that's being crusty evil and We, during minion quest, so that when we're playing actual Mario and Luigi, it'll be good. Yeah. That's that that's the logic. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I am kinda bored. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is I am I am a little a little bored already with Minion Quest. If that wasn't obvious. Just bonk and hammer bros. I would be more invested in this right now if I knew I could just talk over it without my internet crapping out. But since my internet connection is being a little crusty, some chunky salsa going on, I don't really know if I can talk over things, but uh, talk about things without getting cut off. We won! That means you'll join us, right? Yeah, that's right. We are Bowser's minions, after all. My brothers. We were only together for a short time, but it was fun. I'm sure we'll see each other. Hammer lovers are bound by fate. Brothers. Hey, you know all that... Hey, you know that all-powerful Ultra Hammer you told us about? I believe in you. You'll definitely be able to make it. Yeah. Yeah. The gameplay might be so-so, but at least it's nice to look at. The sprites look so good. It almost makes it almost makes it at least passable. It does. Again, they were just trying to trying something else with this, you know. Slapping on a little extra fun game mode uh, on onto this remake, and you know I can't fault them for that. And the story here is fun. The dialogue is good, um, but. You know, do do we want to hear the Goomba? Do we want to hear the Hammer Song again? Hammer Song. Do we want to hear it again, ladies and gentlemen? I'll actually sing it this time. <whistles> Gotta add some padding to make the wor the remake worthwhile. Yep. Yeah. Let me just have a look at something real quick. Make sure I got live chat on. Let's see. Three votes. All oh, four votes. You guys, it looks like you guys want to hear the hammer song again. Okay. Then we shall. Then we must. That's a... Just a tap of the wrench icon at the bottom right of Minion Quest Select screen. If you select the replay, replay events you've already seen, you can relive scenes you've already experienced when you replay a quest. Sorry, guys. No, no, no hammer song. Um, what if the revis... What if the revisited... 
the gameplay, but made it more polished, more engaging, and made a new Mario spinoff focusing on Goombas and Koopas. That'd actually be kind of neat, as an evolution from this neat, but something lacking Sidebone in this remake. Yeah, I would love to see them try this as something separate, maybe. This would have been really cool as, like, maybe, like, a little eShop game. Because, again, this is, it, this is very much so, it feels like a mobile game, it plays like a mobile game. This is very, um, this is, th th this is Mario Raid Shadow Legends. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's not horrible, it's just kind of boring. <laughs> now then, Bowser's Minions, away we go! Woo! We got Hammer Brothers. Yay! I'm... Hey, Cap, you remember the spiel about the power triangle? With that in mind, your units will deploy based on the enemies you face next. Let's see. Next quest, it seems you'll encounter... Flying enemies. Goomba Raid Quest! In before Mario and Luigi resurgence is just a Superstar Saga on Switch again. Yeah, but would that be such a bad thing? Listen, here's here's a thought, right? Here's a thought. Okay, hear me out on this one, right? All the 3DS Mario and Luigi games are remade in the same engine, right? So what if we got a Mario and Luigi trilogy, or even quadrilogy, or even just all of them? Uh, because, you know, all, all of the 3DS Mario and Luigi games on one cartridge on Switch, and... They add in Superstar Saga, and they remake... Uh, not Superstar Saga, um, Partners in Time. I mean, that could be pretty good. That could be pretty... That I, I would not mind that. Before we get into this game, I want to show you Raid Shadow Goombas, the newest mobile game from Nintendo. Use my SV Goom to get a thousand... Uh, 1,255 uh, free silver coins and an elite Goomba champion. Handsome fellows. Yes, please. See, Teeter likes this idea. Go ahead and open the formation menu. And here, here's the formation menu. And we have an extra hammer bro. Specifically so that we can add him. For the tutorial. Repeatedly tap his credit card on table. There we go. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely stellar. New entry was added to the formation guide. Woo! Uh, cha no, the chain. No, no, we want to be done. So we hit done, and then we're done. Instant purchase for me, probably. I really enjoyed Paper Jam, and that's just considering the... And that's considered the lowest point of quality for some fans. Hey, it... Guys, I, I don't know how much more... I can do a minion quest without being very bored. So I'll leave it up to you. St stop minion quest? Should, 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 should we keep going? I've achieved very little. Let's see. Yes, you guys, so far you're saying yes. Back, is the internet working? What did I miss? Uh, minion quest and minion quest. And the internet's a little bit more stable now. Um, it's going a little bit, a little bit better. It's, minion quest is just kind of dragging. Um, all right, you guys want us to end minion quest. So you know what? We're going to end minion quest. Just stop for now. Maybe we'll come back. Like Elijah Wood addressing whether or not he'll wear wigs. Maybe. That's Minion Quest. I hope you enjoyed it. It's 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 it, it's all right. It maybe it's better with a you know what? Maybe oh, register amiibo. Maybe how do we go back? Maybe if you have amiibo, it's better. Um that doesn't, you know, that doesn't help it much. But it's it's an option. Um Look everybody, we're back in the Bean Bean Kingdom. It's Mario and Luigi. Now the stream can begin for real. Where we had left off last week, we arrived at Bean Bean Castle Town, and everything had gone to pot. Um, so, it's all uphill from here, at least. Yeah. Got 
some chicken nuggets. Luna's got chicken nuggets. Luna, okay, Luna. What you gonna what you, what you gonna dip those nuggets in? What are we dipping? What are we dipping with? Ketchup, mustard, honey. Chicken chicken and honey is a really good combo, I'm just saying. Halt! You there, Halt! You can't just waltz on in here. The town has just been attacked, which means the castle could be attacked at any moment. Lady Lima has instructed us not to allow anyone to enter the castle. Anyone. Whatsoever. Classic ketchup. Nice. You can't go wrong with ketchup. Having said that, if you still wish to enter, you must explain your names and your motives. It's me, Mario. And this is my brother, Luigi. What? You are the world famous Mario. And I'm the world famous Luigi. What? And you're the legendary Luigi? Oh, Luigi who? Shh, I have no idea. If you really are the superstar Mario from Mushroom Kingdom, then prove it. Okie dokie. Woohoo! That jump. No mistaking it. Who's this guy's really Mario? Shh. Can't be certain. Anyway, what business would the famous Mario and Louis, the other guy, have in this castle? Mm. Ah, ho ho! Huh? Oh! I see! Gotcha. What do they want? I don't know, I don't speak Italian. Enough! Regardless of that, or of all that nonsense, you may not enter. Now be gone. Hey, but the, the, the prince gave me this really cool rose. Uh, he, he, he said they would let me in if I gave them the rose. Uh, so I'm just saying, it's pretty cool. I'll put it back in my hat if you don't want it, but I'm just saying, it's pretty neat. Prince Peasley's rose! Are you friends of the prince? Uh-huh. There's nothing. Maybe we ought to let these guys inside. See? Making friends with the prince always helps. And now we are in the castle. There's not much we can do in the castle. But we can certainly look around. Authorized personnel only. Ah. Boo. Let me, let me walk. I really like... I really... Okay, I believe in the GBA version, this was just a, a very sort of standard checkered board pattern. But here, they made it kind of wacky, where it's like slightly skewed squares, slightly skewed tiles. I really like it. I think it looks really nice. Uh... Oh, I think... Don't mind me. Sure, there's an unconscious body. Should we check that out? Probably. But there's also money. And I don't know if you knew, but money is really cool. Hello? Well, Master Mario and Master Luigi. Gideon's a coward ignoring the ketchup fiasco. What? Gideon, of course it's ketchup. I'm insulted on Luna's behalf that you'd think it's any it's something other than ketchup. Well, there's other dipping sauces. There's 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 uh mustard and and barbecue sauce and um sweet and sour sauce and duck sauce like what you get at a Chinese food restaurant. There's other dipping sauces. There's other condiments. No the I just listed you some. I am Lady Lima, highest of the ladies at court. The gatekeepers told me of you. Are you indeed the Mario and Luigi of fame? The superstars? Hey, not just Mario and Luigi the superstars. Yeah, we are Mario and Luigi superstars as saga. Roll the credits. Have you tried Chick-fil-A sauce? It's pretty good. Luna... I got a bottle of it in the fridge. Um, 
Yes, I can't deny that. Look at Mario go. Look at the spin on that on him. He's going to town. I always do catch up, but I won't deny that others sometimes there are others sometimes better alternatives. Yeah, gotta keep you gotta keep your 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 horizons open. You know, on the topic of ketchup, I've had some elementary classmates that had ketchup with pancakes. Pancakes, people. My sister did that once. I've never been able to look her in the eyes ever since. Yes, I can't deny that such jumping is the hallmark of Mario and Luigi of Legend. Hey, you've got to help us find the Queen Bean. What's going on in the town? And who is this knocked out on the floor? Does he know where the coffee is? Pardon me? What are you trying to tell me? Oh, do speak up. W woman, we've been trying to... Please, you need to understand. We, you, you, you need to listen. Open up those ears. Clean out the earwax for five seconds and put in your hearing aid. Oh, such ruckus. Speak in softer voices. Now hear me. As you saw, the town is in ruins. And the castle is under strict security. At a time like this, I cannot allow a suspicious pair such as you to meet the queen. As the queen's longest serving lady at court, I must act in the interest of her royal safety. Oh. Oh. Convenient that that trap door was there of all places. Hear my words! If the two of you are indeed the true Mario Bros, you must prove it by repairing the castle's plumbing. If you're able to completely fix it, then you may meet Queen Bean. Now then, show me the work ethic of the superstar Mario Bros. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh, more fighter flies. Let's see. Um, ketchup pancakes. No, nope, nope. There's only ketchup and marinara. Cherry. Have you considered the possibility of Alfredo sauce? Preferably not on the pancakes. I know we're talking about pancakes, but don't put marinara on the pancakes. That's a, that'd be a sin. You could get you 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 that's that's you could get exiled for that. Um, it's a red flag because it's because it's covered in ketchup. Yup. Why are you blinking so much? I've got something in my eye. I try getting the waiter's attention by blinking at him in Morse code. Um, I don't know what that is. Cherry, like chicken Alfredo. It's a, it's like a white cream sauce. Um, someone be a jerk, not a biggie. Someone toxic, eh, I have some worse red flags. But ketchup on pancakes, never again, never again. Is that a cheese sauce? No, it's not a cheese sauce, but I, it is made with milk um, and and other dairy product. Let's go. Yes, <laughs> I think. I'm actually not sure what's in what's in um, that kind of sauce. There's also margarita sauce. Uh, not margarita sauce, vodka sauce. That's what I'm thinking of. There's also vodka sauce, which, eh, it's all right. It doesn't always sit right with me. It doesn't always agree with my system. But I mean, it's, it's okay. You know, there's worse sauces. Anyone ever seen that pick of a pickle in a cereal before? No, wait. I think I have seen the cereal bowl pickle. I've been reminded of something very cursed. Hey, you, you, listen, listen. We're talking about red flags and ketchup and things where they don't belong. You want to hear some childhood trauma? Let me trauma dump on you for a second. When I was a kid, my sister pulled a prank on me that I will never forget. And I don't think I will ever forgive her for. She was trying out new drink concoctions. And I was sort of her her guinea pig of sorts. And at first, she gave me chocolate milk that was made with Nesquik uh, and had just some regular old maple syrup poured into it. And it was really good. It was, it was delicious, in fact. And then after that, she had me try something else. She's like, okay, well, that you enjoyed that, right? Okay, let's, let's try something else real quick. She gives me this cup of, of, of chocolate milk. And I'm like, mm, this, uh, this tastes kind of funny. I don't, I don't think I let, 
This thing's kind of bad. What'd you put in it? She wouldn't tell me what she put in it. She kept me waiting. I kept asking her, what's, what's in here? And she wouldn't tell me. And I kept that. what's in the hot, what, what's in the chocolate milk? What did, what did you put in here? What did I just drink? What is, what is now in my, in, in, in my system? What have you given me? She put ketchup in the chocolate milk. She put ketchup in my chocolate milk. I need you to, I need you to think about that for a minute and think about how disgusting that would taste. It was so bad. It was horrible. I, I, I've been scarred for life ever since. Huh. I shudder at the thought of it. Which would be worse, ketchup on pancakes or soy sauce on pancakes? Probably soy sauce. Because at least, like, ketchup on pancakes would be gross if, like, you douse your pancakes in ketchup. But, like, in moderation, I can see how it could be, like, tolerable. Since you might have ketchup and pancakes on the same plate anyway if you're at, like, a diner and you got, like you know, pancakes and hash browns or pancakes and sausage or something, right? There might, you might get a little, or like eggs. You might accidentally get a little ketchup on the pancakes anyway. But soy sauce? That just, that, that, ah, ha, that, that sounds even less appetizing. Okay, but ketchup and milk or soda and milk, ah. Uh, we don't talk about the Pepsi milk. We don't talk about the pilk. Ugh. I've seen pictures of people who put... Well, no! I mean... Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. We've all had an ice cream soda at one point. We've all added soda to our ice cream at one point. And what is... I mean, I know there's other things that go into ice cream than milk. But milk is one of the primary ingredients in ice cream. So what is an ice cream soda if not overcomplicated soda milk? I'm not advocating for soda milk. Don't hear what I'm not saying, please. Don't think for a second that I'm saying, hey, go pour some, some milk in your soda. I'm just saying that's not the weirdest. You know? I, I feel like you can go weirder. Like, now, if we're pouring, like, if we're you put in, like, pickle juice in the soda, that's kind of weird. And that's coming from a guy who likes pickle juice. Um, but in soda, ew. If you're putting the soy sauce in the soda, now I'm going to have to call somebody. Either a doctor or a policeman. I'm not sure. Clear, clearly it's not ketchup. It's strawberry milk. Ah, yes. Strawberry milk. That's totally what it was. Oh. It's kind of a shame. The whole reference of this area is sort of lost without the ability to select Mario Bros. from, from the title screen. Because this entire underground area is sort of a play off of the GBA version of Mario Bros. to the point where there's spinies and fighter flies hanging out in the sewers so you kind of lose that you kind of lose that reference um without mario bros being included here even ketchup on eggs i don't find appetizing really that's interesting i you know eggs are one of those things where it depends on how they're made if it's like of just a fried egg or a scrambled egg, I can't really eat it without ketchup, personally. But if it's like a soft boiled or hard boiled egg, then I can I can eat it raw. I can eat it as a, as an egg salad. Um, but like just fried or scrambled, I'm not big into eggs without. Not like drowning it in ketchup. Um, Gideon, sing the Mario Bros song. From the Atari ad, <gasps> something's coming up the plumbing. Poor Luigi's in a bind. Um, oh wait, what are wait? I I used to know it. Um, Mar Mario Bros. Atari ad lyrics. Ba -ba 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 
I'll sing it. I will sing it. I'll do it right now. Gideon, what do you of pickles and cereal know? Something's coming. Something's coming up the plum and pour Luigi's in a bind. Giant turtles up to get him. Creepy crabs are just behind. Fighter flies, jeepers, yikes. They're all coming out the pipes. Mario, where are you? It's Atari Mario Brothers with Mario from Donkey Kong, his brother Luigi, and lots of crazy creatures. And it's twice as fun when two people play at once, cause you'll need it with, because you'll need all the help you can get. Mario, where are you? There you go. <laughs> I love that commercial so much. If I've never mentioned it, I love the Atari Mario Brothers commercial. <laughs> That's one of my favorite commercials. Oh, yeah! I usually get my eggs scrambled into an omelet. Ooh, I haven't had an omelet in a long time. See, an omelet I could probably eat without cap cabbage. Here's the real, here's the real though. Here, here's the real one. Here's what I want to know. Which do you prefer? Right? Ketchup? 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 <laughs> All the help? How about throw in not Wario and Bluigi? <laughs> yeah, what happened to Bluigi? Where, yeah, where's, where's not Wario and Bluigi? I always find it f fascinating that in the um, in the Wii U version of Mario Bros. Classic, which is in all the Game Boy Advance games, and I think also, maybe also in the Nintendo Switch Online version, I forget, they changed the colors of the Player 4 Mario. The Player 4 Mario originally had a blue hat and white overalls, but in the Wii U versions, they changed it to a blue hat and black overalls? Which is fascinating because I don't think you can even do the multiplayer in the Wii U version. So for some reason, it's changed in that version alone and completely inaccessible. Gideon's talking to ketchup bottles again. Let's get you out of here. Nobody wants catsup. Wow. Nobody wants catsup. TD, you sending me an image? Oh, <gasps> it is very fitting. Oh, this is what this is definitely from some kind of Heinz promotional contest. Look at this, guys. Mario likes the ketchup too. Mario's here for ketchup. Get this man some ketchup and, and a Super Game Boy. Hello, Emily. Welcome to the stream. You've missed the majority of the buffering. All right. Oh yeah, so uh, <clears throat> about that uh, Fang the Hunter, Volume 3. <clears throat> I like how this stream turned into a big conversation about ketchup and how disgusting or appealing it is with certain things. For real though, ketchup is, is an, an anomaly. Because like it's a, it's a classic, it's a staple of the American kitchen table and dining experience. Like if you go out to any diner, you go to any diner, I can guarantee you there is a bottle of ketchup on the table preset there's salt pepper sweetener for the coffee and a bottle of ketchup but it's one of those things where it can be kind of decisive as to whether or not you should or shouldn't catch up instantly reminded them of the domino's pizza ad feet mario all-stars get nothing for something when you call domino's i remember that i remember what well, i don't remember that but i remember seeing that wow So yeah, about that, uh, about that Fang the Hunter Volume Three, right? About that third issue. Um, really solid, really good issue. The story is is ramping up, and the stakes are getting to a certain point where it's like I can I can see the whole story coming together. Um, let's see. There are some lines you must not cross when it comes to food. No, I agree. I 100% agree. Um, I know some people who hate ketchup on anything. They just hate it. Yeah, I do too. My mom gets really annoyed 
if my dad goes to put ketchup on dinner before he actually even tastes it first. Um, but yeah, the story in Fang Hunter is getting really good. It's, it's, it's getting to the point where it's like, I, 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 it's kind of going in the direction I thought it would be going. Fang is eating some serious crow because uh, it's turning out that that third, that eighth Chaos Emerald, not as real as he thought it was. Um, and he's been faced with that and he is kind of having to admit, okay, so I was wrong. Um, there's this really cool scene. There's this really cool scene that I absolutely adore where... Fang, Bean, and Bark sneak onto the the airship, which the the um, the hard-boiled heavies have stolen, and they're looking to steal the power source that, that for the ship that Fang believes to be the Eighth Chaos Emerald. Um, and there's this really cool scene where they they get caught. Fang winds up finding the Eighth Chaos Emerald, which gets revealed to be spoilers. One, two, three. The Eighth Chaos Emerald gets revealed to as Luna, Lu as Luna correctly theorized and predicted. Uh, the Eighth Chaos Emerald gets re revealed to be the um, the Warp Topaz from you know which appears later on in the story of the IDW comics, and so Fang and the boys get it, they have it now, but they get confronted by the heavies who are like, "Hey, what are you doing on our stolen ship, stealing our funny stolen rock?" Um, and so there's this there's this fight scene, there's a, th th this, this this fight that takes place where Heavy Rider on his on his little moto bug named Jimmy uh, confronts Fang, Bean, and Bark. And it's really cool because you see Fang, Bean, and Bark work together. Fang is like, I already know what to do. He has a plan going into it. He tells he tells Bean to take care of the to take care of Heavy Rider. He takes Bark to take care of his his giant mace projectile and Fang himself goes after Jimmy, the moto bug. Um, and it and it's like they worked they work together as a team and it's so satisfying to see them pull this off and it's like mm, yes more of this please um wait, the hard-boiled heavies are real i thought they were hallucinations from the phantom ruby no apparently they're real um uh, yeah like cherry said after sonic mania robotnik rebuilt them uh they they were also in um Let's give Mario some BP, because it's been a while. They were also in Seasons of Chaos, the Sonic 30th Anniversary comic, uh, which I believe takes place after Mania, I think. Um, and we'll give Luigi... We'll give Luigi some speed points. Luigi rolled a two. Um, yeah, it is just... It's so... It's so good. It's so... <laughs> Cherry, Cherry, can I, can I, Cherry, this is amazing. Cherry just sent me this. I do not know who this fourth Mario brother is, but I don't trust him. I do not trust him. Um... Is Mania Robotnik the same as just classic Robotnik, or are we dealing with split timelines or something? No, it's all one timeline now. Class, he, he's just classic Robotnik now. It's all, it's all one and the same. Sega retconned the, 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 the stuff. Gideon Knack heard what you said about the condiments. Oh, oh, I see now. I see now. <laughs> Oops. Um. Yeah, it's all it's all one timeline. But yeah, and there's even a moment where like, yeah, there's there's, there's a moment where Fang admits, okay, so I'm, I'm I'm it's slowly setting in now that uh that there's there is no such thing as an eighth chaos emerald. Um, and the, the it ends the story ends on you know the the issue ends on the cliffhanger of now Fang, Bean, and Bark have to fight all five of the hard boiled heavies. Um, it's either that or who knows what'll happen. Um. And it's it's really exciting. I'm really excited about it. The writing was good. Bean was more in character. They start out the issue by addressing Bean being the voice of reason and how that's kind of out of character for him. And as Cherry very well put it in our DMs a few days ago, lampshading is not an excuse for poor writing. I do agree with that. 
Uh, but it is nice to at least see them addressing Bean's acting odd for him to be the voice of reason. Um, that's a little strange. Fang seems like a ranch on pizza guy to me. Ugh. I, I, I know people eat. I know people eat that. I know people have it that way. But the thought of that made me shudder. Ugh. And the funny thing is, when I was a kid, I loved ranch dressing. Like, loved it. It was my favorite dipping sauce. It was my favorite topping for everything. And as an adult, I'm just, ah, I, I can't. I'm not into it. Not into it anymore. I don't, I don't know what my five-year-old self was, was on, that he liked ranch dressing that much. But I, I, uh. Yeah, we done goofed. IDW. Yep. Gideon, get the image back up with of, of Knack with the gun. He's mad again. What? Is is he mad at my at my ranch opinions? Listen, I'm just it I don't like it. I don't like it. That's all. He might. He might have it. I'll admit, Fang might have it on pizza. I'm just saying I'm not into it. He is not a ranchman. Oh, then you're agreeing with me. Then you're agreeing with me. I listen. Don't blame me. I was just reading the chat. I think there are points. I kind of got tired of ketchup due to its sweetness as well. I mean, that's fair. Ketchup, you kind of got to have in moderation. Here's my question, though. If 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 tomatoes are a, are, are a fruit, which they are a fruit, by the way, does that just make, like, tomato sauce jam? Is... is, is is tomato sauce just tomato jam? No, Knack is not a ranchman, and he will shoot those who disagree. That's what I'm saying. I can't picture it, but who knows? Um, yeah, yeah, it's 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 getting to be so good, and I'm really, really enjoying it. The book is getting so good, and now I was a little worried going into. Um, issue three, because issue three starts with the hooligans are kidnapped by Eggman. That's where we left off at the um, the end of the previous issue and the beginning of this issue is that they've been rescued slash abducted by Robotnik. Um, and I was a little concerned by the preview we got of this issue that however they were going to resolve this story and wrap it up in like one more volume after this, I was a little worried it was going to feel a bit rushed. But no, actually, it, it, I, you know, I can totally see how and where they're going to wrap this up and how it's going to be at a, a fairly good pace and that it's going to be, it's going to be good. Um, so I'm excited about it. Don't really eat French fries with ketchup anymore. I still have it with burgers and, and nuggets. Same. I, I have ketchup on my burger. I like it on nuggets. If I'm at Burger King, which is where I usually am if I'm eating French fries, I really like their Zesty sauce. Their Zesty sauce is really good. And if you mix the Zesty sauce with ketchup, it's actually even better that way. Because you it turns down the kick a little bit. Um, it's a little bit less kicky. Um, but it's still it's still really good. And the flavor is nice. Oh, hello. Promotion. I'll have to give myself a promotion today. Um. Yeah. There's a scene similar to some of the scenes in uh, in Season of Chaos, the transitionary scenes where you see just the, the characters running through kind of platform levels um, inspired by whatever location they're currently in. They do that for a scene in Fang the Hunter Volume 3. And I, I, I love it. It's so good. I'm just sitting here. I'm sitting here. I'm reading my book last, last Saturday in my bed and I'm thinking to myself, man, just give me... Just give me a hooligans game, please. I, I want to play this. Don't just show me what this could be. Let me play this. I want this. Sega, don't don't make me learn how to use Game Maker so that I can make this game for myself because I'll do it. Sega, this is a threat. I used to like ketchup when I was younger, but taste buds change as you grow older. See, that's how I am with ranch. I used to like ranch when I was a kid. Now, I'm not really into it. I like ranch-based, like, dips. Like, uh, like you know, what you might put on a, a veggie platter. But for for, for, the, for the main focus, I'm not, not really into it. On its own, just regular ranch, not really into it. Fries are so dang good. What's you guys' favorite kind of fries? 
I really like waffle fries. I'm a sucker for waffle fries. Um, but crinkle fries are also really good. Gideon Mac thinks butter and icing count as condiments. What do you think? What kind of icing? Butter does count as a condiment, I would say. Um, but what kind of icing are we talking? Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Uh, yeah, fries are the best. I especially like thin, crispy ones and curly fries. Oh, curly fries are good, my guy. Good choice. Okay. I remember doing this on my first shot one time. There we go. No, that's not the solution to the puzzle. I love any and all fries. You know what, Jay? That's pretty freaking cool. That's the best opinion. Like, cake icing... I'm gonna... I will compromise on this. Um... Hmm. Oh, I see what I have to do. Uh, butter, yes. Cake icing, no. You're not gonna just, like, put cake icing on a, on a burger or on a hot dog. I mean, you could, but I don't... I don't think you should. There we go. Oh, that is not the solution to the puzzle. I will eat most things made of potato. Potato is just good. Potato is, in my opinion, in my humble and honest opinion, the potato is one of, if not the best vegetable. It's so versatile. You can do anything with a potato, and you can make anything with a potato. Did that open up the door over here? They sell icing cups at Domino's. Yeah, but they sell those for, like, the the Domino's, like, desserts, don't they? For, like, the, 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 um, I don't know, what are they called? For, like, the lava cakes. They don't sell those for the pizzas. They're not put, they're not putting icing on pizza, are they? Cherry, no. You can't do that. something wrong here I feel like these should have popped up maybe I gotta oh maybe I just gotta no there's a way to get into that room does this pipe extend into the next room yes and I don't I don't know if I can trust that I am the french fry garbage disposal note to self if you ever have excess fries Jay is your guy. I know KG's a fiend for fries, too. She's not here right now. But I know she's a fiend for fries as well. Might have been one of the best meals of my... Wait, um... I remember one time when I still lived at home and was home alone, I made a homemade meal of fries and a big plate of chili cheese. And gosh, I still remember that meal. Might have been one of the best meals of my whole life. Chili cheese was made by me, too. Nice! Ooh, that sounds good, too. Sounds really good. Now, wait. Wait. Okay, wait. I gotta know. Because I, I need to know if we're having an American... If, 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 if this is like an America moment. Gaming Yoshi Fanatic. I, I, I'm curious. When you think fries, what shape do you think? Do you think little, little cut rectangles... Or like little wavy slices. Do you call chips fries and fries chips in Sweden? Or are they are are, are we talking about the same thing? <laughs> or is or is this or is this like, you know, the is this like, you know, London and Scotland not London, um, England and Scotland and Britain where they call the chips fries the fries crisps. What do we all think of tater tots? Tater tots. My guy are incredible i love tater tots so much i can i can i can go for a, a bowl of tater tots anytime any day anywhere for that matter i'm a fiend for tater tots a fiend i tell you uh 
Oh, thank the stars. You've saved me, you heroic souls. C could you be the Mario Bros? From the Mushroom Kingdom? Gideon, you can dip your crust in icing. It's a thing. Look, uh, listen, listen, listen. I know... I know you can. I know you can. But I'm wondering if you should. Fries and your ice cream is one thing. But crust? Crust? In the icing? Ah, oh, darn. Gotta go. Have fun in the meantime, being Kingdom, y'all. Well, thank you very much for tuning in while you could, Luna. I hope you have a great night. If you can come back later, that's wonderful. But if not, either way, have a wonderful night. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and yeah, have a wonderful night. Wonderful having you here. Okay, here in Sweden, for fries or strips in Swedish, they're classic fries that are long and thick. Okay. I just want to make sure we were on the same page here. <laughs> um... People like to poke fun and call me teeter tot. That's adorable. Uh, oh, I love hash browns. Hashed browns. Hash browns are good. And chips, and chips, also called chips in Swedish, are thin, flat ones that Brits like to call crisps. Okay, so when I say I, I'd like a package of potato chips, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Many pizza places sell icing with pizza for the crust because dough is too close to cake. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I guess, I, I guess, yeah. What are the Mario Bros doing in a place like this? Hey, you told us to come down here and fix the plumbing. What? You claim that I dropped the pair of you down here? And that I told you to fix the plumbing? Yeah. Most perplexing. Why, we were attacked by Cacletta and her fiends, and have been here ever since. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps the Lady Lima you encountered was... <gasps> an imposter. That's a little sus. <laughs> Foolish Mario Bros. You've completely and pathetically fallen into my trap. Preparing the plumbing is the key to disabling the Bean Star security system. Kakleta, it is the hurrying time. We must take the Bean Star and fastly run away from this place. <laughs> at last, at long, long last, I have in my possession both the Bean Star and Peach's voice. That thing that can grant all desires. The Bean Star. We have always remained at the castle, acting as guardians. Protecting the Bean Star and keeping it out of evil hands. There's no doubt about it. Kakwada must be after the Bean Star. Oh, no! Oh, heroic Mario Bros. Quickly now, you must go to the Bean Star. Go! You must not let the bean star fall into the hands of evil. Quickly, quickly, do not dawdle. Okie dokie, Luigi. We've got to hurry. We've got to go get the bean star. That's right, Mario. No dawdling. Mario, where are we going? Uh, th there, there are some items in here. Mario, we need to get the bean star. You received a new recording. <gasps> Guys, we got a cassette tape. We got a cassette tape. Um... Okay, let's see. The thing with crust, though, is sometimes it still has sauce up in it, too. Exactly! Listen, I don't know about you guys, but I eat my pizza crust. Pizza crust is a delicacy around here. Um, Gideon, corner or middle brownie? I am brownie neutral. I like all parts of the brownie. But, I will say, if given the option, I do really like, excuse me, middle brownie. Especially like, especially if the brownies are kind of like, like fudgy or, or not fudgy, but like soft and moist. And they're always like the most moist at the middle. Oh, yes, please. I miss going to the movies despite having a theater right by, behind my house. My mom and I are thinking about going to the movies this week to see Spider-Man 1, the Tobey Maguire one. Because apparently it's going to be in the theaters, like, this week only. And we're like, hey, you want to go see Spider-Man? I'm like, of course I want to see Spider-Man. 
I'm so frightened at the thought of Cat Glenna being in here that I refuse to leave. Can't make me. Let's see. Um, fun fact, by the way, I might see Kung Fu Panda 4 tomorrow at the cinema. Haven't been at the cinema since last year with the Mario movie. Going with a good friend of mine. Nice. I hope you have fun. I've heard those movies are legendary. So I hope it's just as good. I hope it's a good one. Is Queen Bean safe? So check this out. We just found a cassette tape. Cassette tapes are really cool. The cassette tapes you can find in this game. Here we go. I think this is it. Yep. It's the Game Boy Advance music. So here we have what it normally sounds like. And now here we have the game the, the, the Game Boy Advance version. I kinda wish this game had included uh, some kind of option to play the Game Boy Advance music in like just the overworld while you're running around sadly there's not but at the very least there is the option to at least listen to the music and the cool thing is that like pretty much every other 3ds game that has a sound test if you plug a pair of headphones in your 3ds and close the system and put it in sleep mode the music in the sound test keeps playing which i think is really cool as someone who used his 3ds as an mp3 player for years i got a lot of i got a lot of use out of games that had this feature um let's see i don't have anyone to go to the theater with anymore so i don't go anymore the pizza deal requires you to buy two tickets and i ain't gonna waste the money oof i'm sorry i grew up on the original kung fu panda trilogy but i will admit i thought the story ended well with three. Oh well still looking forward to it nice the rescreen they're rescreening old movies again i saw an ad for star wars episode one popcorn but yeah um episode one's coming back for its uh for its 25th anniversary um they're showing spider-man 1 2 and 3 spider-man 1 this coming week 2 the following week and then 3 the week after that and then they're showing the andrew garfield spider-man movies um so they're showing every spider-man movie um was there a save block down here i might have missed it um so they're showing them all um and then there was a save block, okay. And then, 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 I'm very excited because they are doing Ghibli Fest again this year. Like I had, I was worried they weren't going to. Um, I have to look up a couple dates for a couple different movies, but I know that they're showing Kiki's Delivery Service in October, so I'm really looking forward to going to see that again. Um, yeah. Let's see. In home theaters here, they're showing old Miyazaki flicks and Lupin the Third. Oh, <gasps> dude! If you have, if it's, uh, oh my gosh, if it's, if it's, um, if it's. Uh, Ca Castle Cagliostro, you gotta go see it. That movie is so good. Oh my gosh, I love that movie. Um, ah, we're too late. The Bean Star. <laughs> the Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice are already mine. Once we awaken the Bean Star with Princess Peach's voice, this world will be cackled as snack cake. Say, Mario boys, you haven't bothered to pay a visit to your host, Queen Beam. I thought you had better manners. Wouldn't you agree, Queen Beam? Oh. Perhaps the three of you can sit down over tea to discuss the finer points of foreign policy. Kekla, didn't anyone ever tell you the four things you don't discuss? Uh, politics, religion... The stock market, and politics. Ponyo is really cute. I've heard that one's really good. They forgot Japanese Spider-Man, the one that came before Toby. Oh. Did they? What about um? What's what's the funny Spider-Man from another country movie that was unlicensed and made in the seventies? I forget. Um. I didn't see the FNAF movie in theaters. And to be honest, that was an L on my part. It was so good, too, Cherry. <laughs> I didn't know She-Hulk was in the game. Yeah, speaking of uh, comic book movies, Queen Bean's been working out. She hit the gym. 
Hi, Queen Bean. You're looking swole. Uh, we want to... Okay, so here's the thing. You gotta be careful with Queen Bean. You can't attack her directly just yet because you'll hit her crown. And if you hit her crown, your feats will get spiked, and you don't want that. Um, last movie I watched in the theaters was the Mario movie. I was gonna watch the Barbie movie with my mom, but we never found the time to buy tickets. Oh, that's a shame. Here we go. Oh! That's a Mario command, not a Luigi command. My mistake. We use Bounce Bros. Oh. Thank you, Mario, for not hitting the crown. She's getting closer. Let's see. I think Mario was the last movie I saw in theaters. Yeah, it was the, same. It was, it was the last new movie I saw in theaters as well. Uh, wait, no, what am I talking about? FNAF was the last new movie I saw in theaters. Um, yeah, FNAF was the last movie I saw in theaters, period, in fact. Um, Japanese Spider-Man used guns and his backstory was different and he has mechs too? What? And his powers come from the spider alien race rather than a lab spider? So Japanese Spider-Man is pretty... Di this sounds amazing. I have never heard of this, of, of Japanese Spider-Man before. That sounds incredible. Woohoo! Gideon Godzilla. Oh yeah, that's right. Wow, I am I am terribly forgetful about the things I go and do. That's right. Godzilla was Godzilla minus one was the last movie I saw in theaters. That made me cry. That was such a good movie. And now the crown is disposed of. What? She's hucking up beans. Ah! Queen Bean, you got, you can't, you can't just listen, listen. I don't know if this is a regular practice in, in your kingdom, but when greeting uh, ambassadors from a foreign land, uh, it, 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 it's, it's always nice to maybe be a little bit more courteous of, of their cultural norms and maybe not, you know, regurgitate beans at them. One, two, get rid of the bean. Gideon, you have absolutely heard of Supply the Man. I've talked about it with you. Wait. Now that you mention it by name, Supply the Man. Now that sounds familiar. I'm th there's another... Um, was that the edge of the screen? I think it was. Um, there's another, like, weird knockoff Spider-Man movie from the 70s from another country that's completely unlicensed that I'm thinking of, but I can't remember the name of it. It's not like, wait, let me let me look that up real quick. You sent a funny picture? Oh boy. You know I love funny pictures. <laughs> you yeed your, lost, your last haw there, partner. Remember, Peter. Peter, remember, with great power comes great guns. There's every, there's the, there's your hero, ladies and gentlemen. There's the greatest comic book hero of all time, Spider-Man with a gun. Um, fake Spider-Man movie from an, like from another country from the 70s. What am I thinking of? Um, there was... Ah. Where... What, what, it, what was it called? It's... Wait! No! I know what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking I'm... I'm um... Um... Bootleg Star Wars movie from the 80s. That's what I'm thinking of. What's that called again? That has a name. Um, I for, That has a name too. That's what I was thinking of. Um, oh well. Well, either way, Supai the man. He's neat. He certainly is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the... Is this from Supai the man? Is this real? 
Spider-Man with Leo Pardon. Look at this. Look at this. Spider-Man with a gosh darn Gundam. I'm in. I'm, I'm in. Color me. Turkish! Turkish Star Wars! Yes! That's what I'm thinking of! Turkish Star Wars! Yes! Wait a second. We, wait. Turkish Star Wars. Yes! Yes! Wait! Yep, this is it. This is it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Behold. Turkish Star Wars. Yes! This is what I was thinking of. This is what I was thinking of. There's a Wikipedia page on this. Um, I'm not going to try pronouncing it. The Man Who Saves the World is a 1982 Turkish, si Turkish science fantasy martial arts superhero adventure film. The starring actor, martial artist... Yes. Uh, in it, And starring... Directed by this guy and starring that guy. It was first released in November 1982. The film is popularly known abroad as Turkish Star Wars due to a notorious unauthorized use of footage, music, and sound effects from Star Wars and other science fiction films. The film, part of a low-budget Turk... 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 Plo... Turks Plo... Titian superhero films produced during the 1970s to early 1980s combined science fiction themes with martial arts fantasy action having more in common with the 1970s Hong Kong martial arts films from Golden Harvest than with Star Wars that's what they use in this movie in this movie I don't know if I can show footage of this I would but I don't know if I can in this movie they use footage from Star Wars throughout the film and sound effects and the music too i think they use the indiana jones theme at one point um and it's 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 hilarious and incredible um honestly turkish climate could work in filming some of those classic star Wars locations like the deserts of tatooine that's true it could Uh, Super Splash Bros. Actually, let's do regular Splash Bros. Because I want to see if I can get the camera to clip off screen again. What? I missed. Well, that's fine. Golly, what a what a what a time to be alive! I tell you, the '80s were the '80s were something else. You'd never be able to get away with that. Today. Actually, you probably could get away with that to an extent today. At least, like, the use of sound effects and maybe some stock footage. Not a lot. As long as it's, like, short enough that it falls under fair use, you can get away with it. Um, hey, but, it, it, I mean, it's certainly no Cerveza Cristal. Um, man, between Turkish Star Wars and Cerveza Cristal, golly. Oh, she angry. The queen is angry. She's been angered. We've angered the queen. Queen bean. Oh. I think if I let me just see if we use Splash Bros. If we can, because this the camera panned really weird before. I keep pressing A instead of B. <laughs> Turkish Star Wars, because Dune wasn't a thing for them. Apparently not. Isn't that what Dune basically is anyway? <laughs> I Well, no, I know Dune came first. And Dune was a book first. Um, and I know... I, I Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Wasn't there like... Yeah, there was a, a Dune adaptation in, the, in a long time ago. And then they finally made the sequel. Um... I know that's, like, one of those impossibly long books that's, like, infinite length. Um, Gideon, I want to watch Japanese Spider-Man with you now. If it didn't exist, neither would... Neither would the Power Rangers. It's Power Rangers' dad. Wait, for real? Power Rangers exists because of Japanese Supai the Man? Hello, Ouija Mara. Welcome to the stream. What? 
That's that's amazing. I never knew. I never knew. Alright, don't screw it up. I pressed the button. But I guess I didn't press it with the right timing. And Luigi don't got no bros points. That's amazing. So like please elaborate. Why why is it like was it the ins was it the thing that inspired the creator of the Power Rangers to make the show or did like the people who made it go on to make Power Rangers like what what are we talking about here? What happened? I am very curious now. My interest is peaked. And the whole show is bonkers. Is it? I never watched Power Rangers as a kid. Um, when I was... Okay, this is going to be one of those things. I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for it. But I'm going to push... I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass the buck on my siblings and say this was one of those things that I was told and, and never actually found out for myself. Um, there we go. I was... So we. I never watched the Power Rangers as a kid. My siblings thought the Power Rangers were lame. So I never watched. So I've never seen... And I know nothing about the Power Rangers other than a few things I've learned from a couple friends over the years who are into it. Um, I know I all I know is that it was a Japanese show that got it, it was like a Japanese Super Sentai show that got br like westernized and brought over to the United States as oh it's the Power Rangers, um, and they shot new footage specifically for the American version. That's all I know about Power Rangers. Um, Queen Bee, good lord. How much HP do you have, madam? Let's see. Isn't Power Rangers just a bunch of Sentai fight scenes cut together with high school sitcom? That's what I... That's what I always thought. That's what I... What I was told. Um, now, how come... Okay, right... Okay, let me get the let me get this straight. I, I'm I'm picking up on a little bias here, so let me get this straight. Power Rangers is allowed to be like literally just a Super Sentai show with new footage cut in, right? Uh, literally just another show that they added a new plot line to and bringing it over to the United States. Oh, but but no, and and nobody ever really talks about that, and everybody just kind of celebrates it as its own thing and love it for being its own thing. But Super Mario Brothers 2, nobody wants to shut up about it secretly being Doki Doki Picnic Panic. I know it's just called Doki Doki Panic, but I think it's funny to call it Picnic Panic. Oh. Oh! Parried. Gideon, Power Rangers is like if they took Godzilla and edited it in an 80s sitcom and random dubbed it. That sounds amazing. That sounds incredible. Why didn't I watch this as a kid? There we go. All right, Queen Bean. It's time for your just desserts. How much does Mario got? Okay, Mario's got enough for an attack. You know what? I'm going to use a weak... Eh, no, we'll go for it. Ah, uh, yeah. Picnic panic at the disco. Uh-oh. Haven't you people ever heard of closing the gosh darn door? Was that Panic? Wait, was that song Panic at the Disco? I forget. Queen's token. Woo! Ba 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 ba! I mean, seen, seen bits and pieces of Power Rangers while waiting for Digimon to come on. Nice. Um, let's give Mario some power. It's been a while since we increased his power. Hey, oh three. You like that? And Luigi, we're gonna give some speed. Speed Luigi. Well, maybe not. Um, actually, what, have we given Luigi health in a while? I think we have. No, there's a lot of fours on this. Ayo! Gideon, Spider Man came first, and then the creators used it as leverage. Like, I made you one popular thing, let's make another in the same genre. Huh. Never watched Power Rangers as a kid, so I can't say much on it. That's okay. I didn't either. Oh, no! 
can't let a forced queen be in to eat a belly bletch worm. That's what turned her into this. <laughs> Our fair kingdom is doomed. Doomed? How will we ever return Queen Bean to normal? Hey, we can fix her. Somehow. Okay, it's 3.30 a.m. over here, so I'm going to get to bed now, yeah, now y'all. But have a great night. Thank you very much for tuning in, Game Yoshi Fanatic. It is always a pleasure to have you here, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Get some good rest, and have fun at the movies tomorrow. Be sure to tell us how the, how, how the movie was. Uh, yeah, have a great night. You know, thought of a way I might play this next. Only level up stash. That is a horrible idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's a horrible idea, because remember, the more you level up a single stat the more that stat rolls ones on the roulette. So you could, you could do that, and you will get a lot of stash points. But uh, you're not going to get good stash points. Um, What's this you say? The Mario Bros will do something about it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm a doctor, don't you know? And I'll be a doctor in a few years from now, just you wait. What could you possibly mean? You speak of the impossible. Hi, there is no known way to spit out an ingested belly bletch. Well, except there is that one way, that last resort. Sure isn't pretty, though. She may be able to spit it up if she drank the legendary Chocola Reserve from the Chucklehawk Woods. We can't give her that. Bobbery needs that as his last request. Okie dokie. Hey, I can do that. You'll go to the Chuckle Hut Woods. You'll find the Chocola Reserve. Well, if you're going to make such a bold, if you're going to make such bold proclamation, proclamations, I suppose I have no choice but to rely on you. <laughs> bog, bog. Gee. Gee, I didn't, I didn't know that getting a worm stuck in you could make you this big. Golly. Note to self, never eat worms. Let's see. Um, I saw a run that had Mario just used as a punching bag and only leveled up HP and stash while giving Luigi base while Luigi basically went solo through the game. I might try that soon next time I play. Nice! Hey, whatever boats you float. I remember watching the OG Mighty Morphin Power Rings on Fox Kids as a kid. Even owned a few VHSs and seen the nineteen ninety five movie in theaters. I'm that old. Nice. <laughs> if you find the Chocola reserves deep in the Chucklehawk woods, our queen may yet recover. You got the bean bean brooch! Come on, Luigi, quit poking! The ha ha gafwa ha chuckle mus lmus lamau. Gideon Power Rangers got sad am cancelled? Don't pray praise it! It's evil! Evil. Hold the phone. Wait a second. You hold that. Got put that phone in your hand. Hold on to it. Are you telling me that we didn't get the third and final season of Sonic Sad I Am because of Power Rangers? Guys, I'm sorry. Power Rangers is lame again. <laughs> Lady Lima asked that you also take this along with you. You got a bean badge. That thing is a badge. No more Sally? I'm okay with this. Jay, Jay, no. Jay, no, you don't know what you speak. If you equip it, you'll be a little stronger in battle. Different badges have different effects, so for now, if you get a badge, make sure you equip it. To equip it, press start to open your suitcase. Da, 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 da. To equip badges. Select this icon. Then you can view the gear and badges you have equipped. Now, now then, Mr. Mario, try to equip the badge I just gave you. This is where you can view all your tasty badges that you've collected. When we're all done when we're all done perusing, you can pick a badge to equip. Go ahead and try one. Press A to equip the badge. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now you're all set. Good luck and be careful. 
Hey. Listen, I don't mean to be rude. But golly, this fella is funny looking. I've never been this interested in a fellow. Hey, ha, hey, hey, hey. Can I have a bench? You got a bench for Luigi? You only got a bench for Mario? Can I have one too? Oh, uh, sorry, Luigi, but if you want your own badge, you'll have to go buy one at the store. Oh. Come on, Luigi. Let's get going. But I want a badge too, Mario. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry, Luigi. We got a badge for you. We got a badge for you, my guy. Let's swap over to Luigi. Ha! Um, actually, is this any better? Ooh, this is better. What did the Bwaha badge do? Increase strength in battle allows you to defeat foes. Versus quite refined. Solo jump attack. Restore HP. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Unequip from Mario and give it to Luigi. You know what? Jay, I like the way you think. I like the way you think. In fact, we'll give Mario... We'll give Mario the Bwaha badge. Um, eh. Yeah. Actually, no, we'll give Luigi the, the Queen's token. Uh, Mario the Queen's token. But we'll give Luigi the, bois, the the bean badge, despite the little bean fella. And then Mario will give him the Queen's token. There we go. I feel like the Queen's token badge is something new. It might be, but to my knowledge, I think they did still give you a badge at that point to explain how badges work. Because uh, I remember that little moment of Luigi being like, hey, can I have a badge too? Please. Da -da -da -da! Mario deserves pain! Neither Sad AM nor Power Rangers. Digimon. Woo! Oh, Jay has chosen violence. Luigi, number one, not five. Listen, I can't be, I can't, I can't be mad at you for bias. You're using one of the objective best Luigi sprites as your profile pick. That you get brownie points for me on that one. Ooh, critical hits! Oh, but the queen badge. Is from the, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're correct. The queen badge, I think, is new. Um, now. The bean, the bean badge is not new, but the queen badge is new. I'm sorry, I, I was mistaken. I, I, oops. Now Mario ain't to blame. Everyone else deserves pain. True, the bean fella deserves pain. We're getting a lot of critical hits. Cherry sent me a funny little chibi robot. Who? This? Excuse me. This is not chibi robot. Who's this? Cherry sent me this. This is from... Three of Galaxy on Famicom, and supposedly this is not this is Chibi Ro this is not Chibi Robo. Who's this faker? Who's this? I mean, he's cute. Don't get me wrong, but he, who is this? Who's this? This little goober. He can go by Spider Man with a gun. Spider Man is shooting a gun at him. Don't even get me started on the Star Door from PIT. Oh. Yeah, but Mario had his brother's back. I feel bad, Chunky Robo. I feel bad for Starlo. Because Starlo had such character regression in regards to how Luigi is treated by the end of, um, of well, no, by, by the start of Paper Jam. It's like, oh, hey, she, you know, she, 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 she learned that, hey, Luigi's pretty cool. Don't make fun of Luigi. Um, but then, by the end of the game, she's like, hey, Luigi's pretty cool. Clearly Chibi Robo, not Chibi Robo. Ah, it's like the difference between, since we were just talking about him, it's like the difference between Spider hyphen man and Spider Spaceman. Two very different people. This is Chibi Space Ro Robo. And our Chibi Robo is P Chibi, uh, I, I, I can't speak, is Chibi hyphen Robo. Big difference. Oh, wow. Woo beans! We got some woo beans! Those are beans that make you go woo! Yeah! Beans! I think. Am I 
going the right way? Yes. I know this game like the back of my hand. That's new. Um, at least I thought I was going the right way. Now we got some flying beanies. And now Mario's getting HP. Oh, I get why we're getting critical hits. Critical hit is sort of this game's way of telling you, hey, you found an enemy's weakness. There is a... Um, enemies do have weaknesses to specific attacks in this game. Um, so, for example, flying enemies are weak to jumps. Uh, spiked enemies are typically weak to hammers. And there's a cola cola. Very well, then. We shall permit you to enter the woods. Thank you. Gideon's stealing more of my job, not thinking, not speaking right. Don't mind me. Are we buffering? You know what? I'm going to take this moment of buffering to go get myself some more water. Because my water mug is getting kind of empty. And I'm getting a little thirsty. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Currently, I'm in the process of playing Dream Team for the first time, and it looks like my opinions on Starlo is not changing. She, I, I, I forget. She wasn't that bad in Inside Story, but then she got a little worse in Dream Team. I forget. Gideon, there's a new DS, and I want your own opinion on it because it looks like garbage. What do you mean there's a new DS? The famed Chocola Reserve, a beverage that I've made in real life, and is a fine drink indeed. Mega, you need to give me the recipe. How do, how do you make it in real life? Also, welcome to the stream. I f Wait, they do tell you the recipe, don't they? I forgot about that. That's right, they do tell you the recipe. Which reminds me, Gideon. It's gonna be me. That's right, it is almost, it's, it's almost, well, I mean, it's not almost May, but it, we are almost halfway through uh, April. You sent it? Good, I need to see this, this new DS you speak of. What in Sam Hill is this? What? Okay, apparently this is the... I am Neo Flip DS. I'm guessing this is an emulation system. This is a totally legit console. Judging by the design of it, I'm guessing it likely plays DS and 3DS games? This isn't the worst. I like... It has two sticks. That's nice. So the top screen is big, that's something, but why, why is the bottom screen so small and also so far away? There's like, there's like a mile between the top and bottom screen. Why is there so much space? And is that a flip? That, that, that button there looks like, like a, a swap screens button and I don't know how I feel about that. This is... This is something else. I don't know what this is. I'm not sure if I like it. It's, uh... It is an object. It's something. That's that's all I can say about that. That's the 3DS. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's not horrible, but I think they could refine the design a little. Looks like a bootleg new 2DS XL. Why is there so much space between the top and bottom screen? Boo! Yeah, you see? That was the first thing I noticed too. It's like, what? why? That must be really awkward for games that like actually use the space between the top and bottom screen for like transitions and things. That's gonna look really weird. It looks AI generated almost. Oh, uh, there's a recipe for there's a recipe by Jammy Cooks 
which is how I've made it. The three fruits are subbed for white grapes, blueberries, and pomegranate juice. And you make a syrup and mix it in club soda. Ooh! You know what? I'm just, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write down uh, that. Maybe, you know what I might do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if in the following week, if I can't get the ingredients to make this and try to make this. Um, if I had a pen that worked, that'd be really cool. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me write this down. Jimmy Cooks. Chocola. Cola. I, you know what? Next week, I'll see if, if this week, if I can't acquire the ingredients to make this. And if I can, we will drink the Chocola Cola live on stream. That's a promise. That is a promise. If I can get it together and make it, I'll, I'll do it. This is a heck of a time for my allergies to act up. Tell you what, I'll send it to Discord. Thank you, thank you, wonderful. I especially won't forget that way. Oh, I really like what they did with the um, with the chuckle with the Chateau de Chuckle Hook music in this version of the game. They changed it slightly, uh, making it a little less maddening. Here's the recipe: Brewing Chocola Cola. Step one. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola fruit, which is grown in the Chuckle Huck woods. Brewing Chocola Cola, step two. Place one Chocola fruit in the barrel that's been filled to the brim with savory syrup. Brewing Chocola Cola, step three. Tell funny jokes to the fruit until it laughs, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. Brewing Chocola Cola, step four. Bear in mind the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. The premier form of Chocola Cola absolutely overflowing with gags is known as the Chocola Reserve. So 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 are you, are you telling me that if that if I if, if I tell it just like really cheesy puns, it's gonna be really bad juice? <laughs> Father of Chocola Cola, first generation chateau owner. Bubbles. Cherry, you sent me a, a DM. Well, Hapa. Let's see, here's the issue. The size of each screen and the space between them are absolutely not compatible with a chunk of games. A lot of games were specifically designed with the exact size and spacing of the DS the DS had, and without that, it is basically worth, worthless. And it costs $1,200! Well, apparently it's also a Wii U for what that's worth. Listen, I don't care if it can play DS, 3DS, and Wii U games. $1,200 is, uh... Ha! Huh, that is, uh... That's a steep price to pay for that. Next week, you're gonna need a joke before you take a sip. I, I'll bring out my best. I will bring out my best material. Hey. I had this friend, right? I had this friend. He worked at a can-crushing factory. He enjoyed the work, but... One day he came up to me and he said, I, I just, I can't do this anymore. I, I really can't. I said, why not? I, th I thought you loved your job at the at the soda can crushing factory. He said, I do. But I gotta say, the workplace environment, it's soda pressing. Okay, I'll stop play better Wind Waker. That's true. I was wondering if you if you made a birthday blow up collab entry fan art. I, I did it. I, I told you last week I, I wouldn't be able to do that. I am sorry. I hope you're having a good birthday though. Um, oh, here we go. Ha! Whoa! Who are you? No, Peter. <laughs> Luigi, where'd you go? I was right there, Mario. What are you talking about? 
I thought it was gonna be can or crush pun, but I'll take this. <laughs> your drink is flatter than your joke. No! That joke was better than mine! I feel like there was a... Is there anything up here? I guess not. That was actually a really good joke. Oh, boo, blast, criminy! The famous shadow thief, Popo, has been caught in full sight. <laughs> Cripes! You think you're ready, do ya? Well, nobody's more ready than me, see? I'll show you! Rookie! Rookie, shake a leg! Yes, boss! Oh, hey, Bowser! Hey! Okay, Rookie, it's your turn, see? I want you to squash those red and green drips here. Yes, boss. Hey, Bowser, it's us. Don't you recognize us? Red and green. I feel like I know these two from somewhere. Weird. What? Okay, you saying you're acquainted with these two palookas? It's Popple, best battle theme of the game. Yeah! Yeah, something about them feels really familiar. And it makes me feel... Really mad. Quit your babbling! Quit your babbling, you two! You two ugly mugs came here for the same reason as us. You want the fabled Chocola Reserve. Boo! Boo, I say! You really think you can beat me to the punch, do ya? Well, open up those ears, punk. Punks. I, Popple, Shadow Thief, filter of the world's riches. Bet, bet you that I can get the Chocola Reserve first. Rookie, get to it! Gee, I wonder what voice I'm recycling for this character. <gasps> this music is amazing. I have the sudden urge to want to hear Popple say, Bingo! Yeah! <laughs> Not sure why. No, neither. That's, that's, that's a strange thing for Popple to say. That's weird. Whoop. One, three, go! How dare you guys try to mess with the boss! Ow! Bowser's bringing out his SMB1 hammers. I think he forgot he could use those. Luigi has no bros points. I really should have, you know, re-upped on my bros points before starting battle, shouldn't I? Yeah. Finally, I can talk about Rookie Gideon. It's been an eternity. When will we finally draw the hooligan rookies? We should draw that. I'll be taking that, see? I, you know, I, for, I, I almost forgot about that. Look at these chipmunks, these blue-colored bumpkins. <laughs> oh, I have heard that. These chump, these chumpkins. Why did I say chipmunks? Good misreading moment part, Gideon. No, I do. I, I have heard that cover too. Um, that's a good cover. I'm normally not into. Um, hey, here's a video game song with lyrics, right? Brent of Floss is, is the exception because he's like the, the 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 OG. And normally I'm not in big into those kind of covers and remixes, but. But that one is actually really good. Bah, you know what I mean. Da, 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 da. Ow. Ooh. Get out. Get away. I really hope I get that mushroom back that he stole. Wait, he's going to use that mushroom to heal, isn't he? I forgot about that. I forget which one it's better. I think it's better to attack Rookie first. Um, uh, not Rookie, uh, Popple first. Simply because Popple can be a little bit more annoying and can steal your items. Whoop. It doesn't really matter which one you take up first. I, I, I gotta say though, Bowser's bandit mask is really good. I like that it covers his horns too. Did, did, did Popple just have that? 
Was that just there? health. I can tell. He's doubling his attacks. I think it heals Bows, I mean. Whoopie. Bows? Who's Bows? I don't see no Bows here. Just Popple and Rookie. The dynamic duo. Guys, look. It's, it's Fang and Bark. <laughs> See, we were just talking about, we were just talking about, you know, the new issue of Fang the Hunter. Man. Oh, what'd we get? One up. Boss! No! Ah. Let's see, I always try to take out Popple because I think Popple will run if Rookie goes down first and it might cut your XP. Ah, I didn't know about that because usually I just go for him anyway. Um, don't you want to hug Rookie? Yes, actually. Give me a Rookie, uh, not Rookie, uh, Popple. I, I would hug Popple. Give me a Popple plush, please. I want that. I didn't play far enough into Bowser's Minions to find out if the mask has an origin. Neither did I. Uh, when I did play through as much of that as I did when I first got this game, we did play some minion quest earlier, and we did not get very... We got up to, like, the third stage. It was... There was a lot of connectivity issues I was having at that point in the stream, and also it was really kind of dull. Um, so, you know. For some reason, fighting these guys... Makes my gut flare up something fierce. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! That was spicy! That's an explosive heartburn you're having there, my guy. Give this fellow th give this fellow man a custom popple plush, please! Please! Minion quest is not very good as someone who 100 percented it. Ouija Maro, you 100 percented it? God bless you. You have the patience of a saint, and you are a you are a stronger person than I am. <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll just look up all the the excuse me the the cutscenes for um, for Minion Quest at some point. But I don't know if I have the the stomach to to get through the whole the whole thing because it is it's not bad. It's just very dull. That's all. It's just very dull. It's an idle game. It is absolutely a mobile game. As a mobile game, it might be a bit more fun. As something you just play every once in a while. I remember enjoying it. I do remember enjoying it when I played it. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily the best streaming material is all. Um, let's give Mario some... Ooh, we got some fives on this wheel. Yeah! Woohoo! I remember 100% of it, plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey and BIS Remake as well. Nice! Let's see. Are the rest of the songs unlocked from playing it? I got 100% of the blocks and only 97%. I don't know. I I actually don't know. That would suck. Because I kind of wanted to 100% this. Let's see. I had time to spare in the school bus. And I already got all, all the things I could for Superstar Saga. 99 items, all gear, all accessory, literally everything to put off playing Minion Quest but see, that's probably the best, you know, kind of scenario to play Minion Quest in. It's, you know, it's very much so a mobile game. So you play it on the bus. You play it on the train. You play it when going places, in between places. It's a liminal game, if you will. Um, and I mean, that's okay. There is certainly place and time for games like that. Um, Someone put a Knuckles figure on eBay for only a few dollars, but $45 shipping? Man, how is this crap not illegal? Freaking garbage ass scam. I'm sorry. That that happens to me all the time, where I'll find stuff that I want. I'm like, oh, whoa, $10. $14 shipping. I've tried to buy gosh darn toy trains for my niece and nephews, and they're like cheap, but with ridiculous shipping. Ha. Huh. 
<laughs> Rookie, you bloated idiot! Who took you in when you were dazed and lost in the mountain? Me, you worthless vermin! I'm so ashamed. Nah, I don't care, see? Well, I, we're fine as long as we get the... We're fine as long as we get the Chocola Cola Reserve. Let's not mess with these two knuckleheads. We'll scram and hurry on ahead. Yeah. Hey, come back! Hey, come back here, you big goopa! Being stolen away for uh, another game, I think. If I'm not back, I'll talk to you cool geeky goobers later. Welcome to our weird group, Ouija. Yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in, Teeter. Uh, I hope you have fun gaming with some other folks. And yeah, have a great night. I'd argue the main Superstar Saga game is so strong that it didn't need another side mode. If you want one, bring back the Mario's Arcade game from the GBA version. Yeah, no, I completely agree. This game is strong enough on its own that it doesn't really need an addition. And as I was saying earlier, I think the reason why they added Bowser's Minions, or Minion Quest rather, is because they got rid of Mario Bros. They're like, well, we need to have something here. What can we put here? Eh, we'll try something new. We'll try like a little mobile game. Was that a good idea? I don't know. Um, oh. Oh. Fun fact, there's actually a hidden room with four blocks in the Chocola de Chucklehawk. I can't remember if I've found that before or not, but thank you for, the, for, for, for reminding me that that exists. Have I been saved? Rescued? Moi? Chatelot. Hello, I am the maître of the, of the chateau. Cork, that is me. And moi, I am the petty brother of Cork. My name is Cask. We were stuffed into these barrels by two très bizarre characters. Are you the ones who saved us? Hey, that's us. Sorry, I don't speak French. Oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> to get straight to the point, the two who attacked us are after the Chocola Reserve that lies deep in the woods. Oh, yeah. It, it, uh, is that a, it, I, it, I, oh, my French is rusty. You two are, you two are after the Chocola Reserve as well, no? Ah, uh, we. Oui. The problem is, whether or not that legendary soda even truly exists. Why, even the two of us have never have never seen or drunk that famed drink, the Chacol the Chocola Reserve. Behind Chocolhawk Woods is a sanctuary no one can touch. Getting there is not easy. Hey, can you show us the way, please? Huh? What? Yahoo! I actually speak French, so I can translate some of the words here. Nice! What, what, what is... Oh! It, that's a Y sound! You can stomp as the enemies? Ha-ho! <laughs> and ammo rocks to little bits to make pass. Ah, oui! Uh... At you means and y'all you is proper way to address an adult or to refer to two people. That's really cool. Perhaps perhaps you could get through the woods, but not with these moves alone. Don't don't worry, Cherry. There's another character I will save Antoine's voice for. Cask, perhaps with that wonderful hammer. We oui. Très bon! Bon fair, indeed. Little old moi was thinking the exact same thing. <clears throat> Pardon-moi. Pardon. Let's see. Um, remember, make sure your jokes are good, Gideon. Gotta make a good soda. No cheesy jokes. Soda not made from cheese. That's true. There probably is a cheese soda out there. Um... We'll save, we'll save Ant. You know what? Actually, maybe, maybe we'll give... Now that I think about that other character, maybe I'll give Antoine's voice to uh, to Cask instead. Um, so much better is 
So how much better is Chocola Reserve compared to regular Chocola? Well, I would assume if it's if it's like good enough to rouse a laugh out of someone, if, if it's so good that it causes like an entire stomach cleansing worth of laughter, it must be really good. Gideon Star Fox Zero on weird DS on weird 3DS. What? Huh. You know, one of my biggest problems with Star Fox Zero is how it controls and how you're constantly looking up and down between the TV screen and the gamepad. And my thought process was that it would work so much better on a DS because you can have the touch screen in your peripheral vision or the top screen in your peripheral vision as hokey as the distance between the two screens is i'm just gonna say this might be the ideal way to play star fox zero i can't believe they actually made star fox zero a good game <laughs> let's see um Chusota is a terrible set of words. Agreed. Très bon mon faire means very good, my brother, if you need more translation. Thank you. I know there's one French phrase I know what means, thanks to Team Fortress 2, and that's mon dieu. Mon dieu, which can be translated as oh crap, but can also be translated as oh, you know what. After having... After having a titi tit with mon fair just a moment ago, we have decided to thank you for helping us. We have decided to teach two Amel techniques. These are techniques that have been perfected and refined and passed down here at the chateau. If you master these, they should help you in your bon voyage to in the woods. Do you wish to try mastering these Amel techniques? Oui. Yes, Monsieur Green. Give me your Amel. Oui, I see. With this Amel, first tap mini icon on the touch screen, or use the L and R buttons to select it. Then proceed to then proceed to press the B button to swing. Oh! Et voilà! It. That is the secret hammer technique. Swing the hammer eye and watch it pull it and watch it plunges down with the Georges de Vive of the woods. Anyone with it with such a technique will become micro sized. Oui, très, très petit. Petit, pe petit, petit, not petit, petit. Anyone this size would feel like a mouse and could go on ti in tiny holes for micro adventures. To return to normal, just swing the hammer again in a superb rock de amour. Let's see. Unrelated, but one thing I really like about this game is that all the prominent locations start with words and synonyms for laugh. For example, Chuckle Huck Woods, Hoo Hoo Mountain, there's Guarhar Lagoon, there's, um... That's actually how I learned the term Guarhar and Guafa for laughter is because of this game. Um... What it, what's the Guafa area? I, there's Guarhar Lagoon and then there's Guafa. I forget which area is named after Guafa, but I love that too. That's one of my favorite things about this game. Woo. Select mini and then press B to select the action. So then we click on mini Hammer. and now Hammer. Toma, the, the toy maker, only just found out about the Fang figure. How did none of us think to tell him? Guys, the frick. I thought he already knew. I thought he already knew. Oh. I I am sorry, because I thought I, I thought he already knew. That's it. We, we When we get our Fang figures, we need to tag Toma and tell him we got it. He said to buy it and buy the cart, and I sure as heck will. <laughs> Guafar ruins, that's what it is. Um, oh, incredibly, incredible. To think you could produce the jeu, the, the, jeu, the jeu de voix of these woods on the very first shot. <sighs> I 
Hello. Perhaps you should try to put him back to normal. Excellent! Magnifique! You could be a genius! Now then, Monsieur Red, give me your hammer this time. Four steps the dunk icon on the touch screen to use the A or use the LNR buttons to select it. Then press the A button to swing. Whack! Crashing down on a gust of wind with the power of the earth. Whoever is struck by this hammer will be completely buried hidden in the earth. Uh, Joy de Vier, de, de Vivier. I can't translate off the top of my head. That's okay. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. I'm going to look it up right now. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Define. And I forgot the J. There we go. Let's see. Um, exuberant enjoyment of life. They seem to be filled with joy de viver. Oh, joy de viver. Joy, the fervor. Okay, I get it now. Or no, joy, joy the vigor. I get it. That makes sense. I, I always think it's really neat when you have languages that have um, root words that are like, because a lot of languages kind of branch off from the same kind of family tree, right? Uh, this happens a lot with English, French, and um, like one or two other languages. Um, French and English have a lot of very common sounding words that have similar meanings. So if you understand one, you can kind of almost understand the other if you put a strong enough accent on it. Uh, and that makes a lot of sense. Joy, the vigor, that makes sense. Of course, in this state, moving with the, with the circle pad is possible. One feels much like a mole. Why, you could even sneak under fences for micro adventures. To come back up. Come back above ground, just press the B button. Alice, go, try it! Dunk. Oh. Hammer! Hammer! Ah, boom! The power of the earth crashes down in a burst of wind! That was perfect! Ah, we oui. just press the B button to pop out of the ground again. Fantastic! Now, it is. It is the time to put these new hammer techniques to the test. Use the techniques you learned to get the two color goblets in the next room. The two goblets of which are the two goblets of which I speak are two of the Bin Bin King's greatest treasures. The sparkling glass is brilliant. It is the perfect reward for who for you who have gained these techniques. Allons-y! So, messieurs, procure the two goblets. Now I'm curious as to where this secret room is. Gideon, we should buy fang wolf figures so that the fang figures have family on arrival. Yes, how do I buy a fang wolf figure? That's something I would really like to know. Um, does Toma have an online shop or do I have to like buy these off eBay? Because I have wanted... <gasps> we got a tape! I have wanted a Fang Wolf figure for a while now. I really don't want to miss this secret room now. I'm curious. Oh, is there anything up there? I hope my, my, my fake French accent uh, isn't horrible. <laughs> oh, and we can collect beans now. Check this out. Woo! Chuckle bean! The secret room is in the boss room where you fight Popple and Rookie. In there, you go to the top of the boxes and spin over the top. Ah. Let's quickly grab that before I forget. Messieurs, go to the room on the right and obtain the two goblets. Okay, never mind. He does have an online shop, but Fangwolf specifically isn't there. Although Blaze Fangwolf is. Ooh! Hammer. 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 Well, if you know a way, if you know a way for me to get a Fangwolf figure, hook me up. Because I want to know. Its beauty sparkles in your eyes. I'm 
part French, and I don't give a frick. Nice. <laughs> hey, as long as I'm not offending anybody, that's that's all. Beans. Beans. Please do not eat anything on the wall. It, oh, what what's this say here? Please. Oh, that's odd. There, there is a word here, but it's a little smudged. I, I can't really make it out. I think it's written in French. Please do hit anything on the wall. Okie dokie. Yahoo! Gideon, would you settle for a chibi fang wolf? I would. Just to have a fang wolf would be amazing. It's brilliance glitters in your eyes. Mole's living room. Tunnel beneath fences. Try not to get your clothes dirty. Steel flooring. Steel flooring is so hard you cannot go through it. Mouse living room. Take care not to bump your head on the low entryway. That's adorable. I love this game. I call this the Mario and Luigi buffering dance. Whenever we start buffering, Mario and Luigi are going to start buffering, too. Nintendo, encouraging kids to break rules since 2003. Oh, you have the red goblet and the green goblet. Messieurs, you're amazing. Incredible! There is nothing left for us to teach you. You have mastered the armor techniques perfectly. Do not touch Willy. Good advice. Well, messieurs, you may enter Chucklehawk Woods in search of the famous cola, Chocola Reserve. Oh, do we get to keep the goblets? I thought we gave. Them. I thought we were supposed to give those to them. Well, they're gone from our inventory now, so I guess we gave them to them. There's a 99 bean cap limit for chuckle beans in this version. Was that in the original? I don't remember. I think it was. I believe there's a 99 cap for all items. Um, so let's see. The secret room is in the boss room where you fight Poplin Rookie. In there, you go to the top of the boxes and spin over the top. Okay. Ah, I see. <laughs> Monsieur and Clam! God bless bon voyage, bon voyage for teaching us how to speak French. Ooh! Super nut. Blue jeans! And 100 coins. Who's getting the blue jeans? See, Mario's got cosmic pants. Not quite cosmic brownie, but still. Muddy jeans. Let's see. Um, who can, oh, the blue jeans are exclusive for Luigi. Okay. Um, thick jeans that automatically restore HP. It'll increase our defense by five and s lower speed by six. I think that's a good trade-off. Ah, I found myself hit hitting that limit more often here because beans are so easy to track. Oh, absolutely. Beans are delightfully easy to track in this version of the game. And that's honestly, I gotta say, that's one little quality of life change that I really appreciate about this version of the game is they made it so much easier to track all of the collectibles. Um, especially beans, because you might not know. And granted, there's no in-game reward for collecting all the beans, but it's nice to know you got them all, you know? I found woo beans were way more rare here, but I couldn't get beanies to drop them. I feel like I've gotten them to drop some. Not many so far this this playthrough, though. I have insane luck. Or at least I had insane luck. Last time I played this game, I had insane luck finding golden beanies in the Chuckle Huck Woods. I wonder if we'll find some more. I've only just begun to cheat. I'm certain I'll do some more. Let's see, golden beanie. No, nope, regular beanie. You just get an HP back. Whack. <gasps> yes! Golden beanie! Hello, KG. Welcome to the stream. We got a golden beanie! And Luigi's getting decked. 
You you missed me doing full French accents. Oh hey, we just got a, a bean. Oh, I can do Chopper Bros now. Let's practice. Let's demo Chopper Bros real quick. Cause I forget how this move works. Oh, this is the fun one. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite one. This is the cool one. Okay, I can do this. There we go. You just gotta mash. You just gotta mash. You can do so much damage with that in the GBA version. I think they 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 lightened it up a bit where you get less damage output in the 3DS version, but in the GBA version, you can be a monster with Chopper Bros. Gideon, show KG the horse I sent. Oh yeah, KG, we have another horse. Um this is our new horse. We haven't named him yet. So if you have any name suggestions for our new horse, we have another horse. Um, and then uh, Cherry drew King Kong and Godzilla. Um, so those are some of our significant updates for this stream. <laughs> um, let's see. Did a few matches with friends. Heard Dan's screams. Nice. Are you guys hunting ghosts? Very nice. Poor Dan. Let's see, it is nerfed here, where you can't do the advanced super versions infinitely anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Those were such good attacks, too. Let's see, Chopper Bros with the mush badge is a force not even Sephiroth can top. It's true. Sephiroth lives in fear of mush badge Chopper Bros. Oh yeah, KG, the idea of Fang enjoying um, ranch on pizza was proposed, and Cherry sent this in response to that. Personally, I don't agree with the idea that he would like ranch on pizza either. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no sleep. I ain't afraid of no beds. I was a little thankful for that because many changes have been made to this version. Wait, I was a little thankful for that because many changes have made this version easier. And I'll say that the final boss's difficulty is intact. It is. No, the final boss of this game is actually is just as hard as it was in the original. If not a little harder in some areas. Um, oh, I have a map. Here we go. Um, there we go. They removed the maps from the walls so that you can now just have the map out at all times. Um, which I kind of, not going to lie, that's actually a pretty good change. Um, There we go. This game does make... Uh, this game is admittedly a bit easier than, than the original was. But I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Because it's a fun game, you know? The original was already pretty easy as it is. So, like, you made an easy game easier. That's not bad, but at the same time... You know, was it necessary? No, but I'm not going to complain. I never struggled with the original GBA Final Boss, probably because I always stocked up mushrooms before I went to Bowser's Castle. That's the way to do it. This game's Final Boss did give me quite a bit of trouble uh, the first time I played it, though. Gideon, do you mod your special legitimate 3DS to have a mouse cursor? Uh, yeah. No, well, see, that's just... See, uh, well... The totally legitimate 3DS, right, has special built-in technology where there is a sensor in the, in the touchscreen that shows on the OBS display where I'm 
putting thing where where I'm touching the touch screen so that you, the viewer, know what I'm doing. Weak. For the horse's name, Buddy or Bud for short, I like that. His name is Bud now. He's Bud. And he's Buds with the other horse. Bud's a good name for him. I forget what we named the first one. Bang. Just came back. How you doing? We're doing good. We're in the Chucklehawk Woods. You missed my phony French accent. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't... I think L was used for swapping Luigi's commands in the original, and R was used for swapping Mario's commands, I think. Which does make this a little more clumsy, um, which is why they... Since this game has so many moves in it, that's why they, they added that to the touchscreen as well, which I'm not going to lie, is a pretty nice feature. Um, and it's nice being able to switch between that and the map. This is the map. I think as a kid, I did an exploit with the red peppers to make the final boss easier. I forget, the red peppers, they increase your attack power, right? But I think they also increase your, like, movement speed. And then the green peppers increase your weight, but give you more defense, I think, right? Big boy. We got a big boy over here. Well, you need your mouse to operate OBS, obviously. Your totally legitimate real 3DS is just plugged into your computer. Exactly. Cherry gets it. There we go. Um, if I remember correctly, for my save file where I got 99 of all the items, just 100% minion quest... Mario and Luigi are level 72. That's impressive. That's that's good work right there. I don't think I've ever... I think the only Mario and Luigi game I've ever properly, like, 100%ed... What, did I 100% the original version? I think I might have. I might have 100%ed um, OG Superstar Saga. I might have done that. Because I remember doing the shirt minigame um, with Har Hall. And get... Oh, I, I need to put... Wait a second. Can you still do it? No! <laughs> you can! So you can trade Luigi's health for coins in this game. Fun fact. Um, Luigi abuse. I am sorry. Don't worry. He's fine. Uh, and we'll use some Serp. Do we need to use Serp? Nah. Um, if you die, whenever a red pepper is active on the original, the POW buff never runs out when you revive with one eight with a one-up. <gasps> oh. So then you can give yourself infinite increased power. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. Woo. Mario, that's what you get for punching Luigi in the crotch. <laughs> He's a bear. He's a bear. Look, everybody. It's the third Mario brother. Barrel EG. Just when I was about to sub. Ah, I'm sorry. I just wanted to show it off. I'm sorry. We will never do that to poor Luigi ever again. I promise. I swear. I swear to you. We will never put Luigi through abuse again. Thomas said he's excited now as he was in the 90s when he first saw the UFO plushes. Aw, that's adorable. I'm happy for Toma. Toma made this character. Uh, you know, I wonder I wonder if Toma ever expected Fang was gonna be like a very popular character, even if just sort of nichely. Um you know, by a niche fandom. I'm happy for him. I'm really happy for him. Mar is Mario... He is a Mario brother. Barely. Ah! 
we're telling that one to the Chicola Cola. Superstar Saga on GBA is a very broken but very fun game. Absolutely. That's one of my favorite things about the original Superstar Saga is just how easy it is to break that game. Because it is very easy to break that game. But it's so delightfully breakable. There's so much silly stuff you can do and get away with in the original that you shouldn't be able to do. But because of some real nice spaghetti code, you can. I love that game. Who knows, maybe at some point we will replay the original on stream at some point. Um, not right away, obviously. Um, but, maybe. Just like how I said, maybe if, if I'm still streaming in five years, we'll, we'll, we'll play the Thousand Year Door remake on stream. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll do, right? At my five year anniversary mark of streaming, we'll re, we'll, we'll play through the Thousand Year Door remake and we'll do <laughs> the original Superstar Saga. Come on! several breakdowns in just rainy days. I'm sorry. This week has not been so bad. I'm sorry. But hey! You know, it's one of those things where past week may not have been so great, but maybe the next week will be better. You know? Hard times are behind us. And the future holds something brighter and better and shiny and new. Shout out to the world record for only needing the Mush Badge A and Chopper Bros to beat the entire game. Yep, that's all you need. Once you have the Mush Badge, you just spend all your money on coin on on um spend all your money on coins. I guess you're buying coins. Uh, you spend all of your money on mushrooms, and you're good to go. Yeah, we're here now. Best either, but at least school got canceled <laughs> through half of it. Nice! Yeah. This week was okay. This week was alright. Oh, <gasps> Golden Beanie! Get him! We're using Chopper Bros. Oh, we haven't used Luigi's hammer attack yet. Knockback Bros! Bam! Woo! That's one way to take out a Golden Beanie. Knockback Bros is also really fun. I would say the best Bros attacks in this game are the hammer-based attacks, because they are so much fun to do. Should I go right? Okie dokie. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain something last week. So last week, the, the week before last week, two weeks ago on stream, I had mentioned that I was going back to work. Um, but because of the poor weather that we had last week, my boss just decided not to open the store uh, and that we were going to stay closed. So I didn't actually wind up going back to work last week like I thought I would. Hello, fuzzies. Um, so my official going back to work date is next Saturday. Not this Saturday, next Saturday. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going, I'm going back. They're taking me back. I'm going back. Yeah. So that's exciting. On one hand, it means, you know, I'm going to have a little less time to, to goof off, have fun, and, and do what I want to do. But I'll be making money. And the money I make at work is a lot better than the money I get unemployed. So I... I'm not going to complain. Yeah. This is the life of seasonal work. Wait. Oh. Fiddlesticks. So take me back in time. To another world. Oh, I forget how the rest of that song goes. But I love that 
anthem. That's honestly, I'm ashamed that I forgot how the rest of that song goes, because that's genuinely one of my favorite songs in Sonic R. Can't wait to hear, I can't wait to start hearing work, Worker Tales again. Yeah! I always have fun experiences at work. A lot of weird and funny stuff happens at my job. Here we go. There is a bean in the ground. I must get that bean out of the ground. I got a chuckle bean. Yeah, I will admit. Bufferoni and cheese featuring Barreligi. I'm a little sad. Speed! I'm a little sad the woo -hoo, Mario voice clip is gone. Um, that's a shame. I will say, juggling all of Mario and Luigi's action commands is a little clumsy. Um, but I do like having the map on the touchscreen because I did miss something earlier. Let's let's backtrack for a second. Is your totally legitimate 3DS acting up? Nah, that's just OBS. OBS do be like that sometime. Oh, the BS I put up with for OBS. I don't think we can get up there yet. Nope, that's too high. We're gonna have to come back this way. Oh, yeah! Shy Guys. What are these Shy Guys referred to again? I forget. What? My week was alright, and a whole lot happened. But I graduate next week. Nice! College graduation! Good for you. I'm really happy for you. It's the beginning of a whole new chapter in your life. What, a, what, what an exciting time. Hammer! Ooh. I'm glad I came back this way. Refreshing herbs. What kind of herbs are they, I wonder? Oh. It would have been really neat if they brought back the Bean Bean Kingdom in, uh, in Mario Odyssey. Because there's a lot of fun, like, regional variant stuff in the Bean Bean Kingdom. I really like how the, um, how the Bean Bean Kingdom blocks, right? I really like how the blocks look in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Because they're like these little displays with these little screens that show, oh, it's an M, it's an L, it's a question mark. I really like that. I think that's really cool. I should get back into streaming soon. My last stream was a year ago, and I was actually streaming, and it was actually a Superstar Saga stream on my totally real GBA. Nice! Hey, streaming is fun. If it's if you got the time and you can do it, do it. It's fun. Let's see. Where to go next? Go this way. I can't go that way. So I guess we're going straight. I am chuckled. Protector of the woods. Ahead is great tree. Mother Chocola. Ch Chocola. Chocolola. Only some may pass. Some will find all three kinds of Chocola fruit. White Chocola fruit. Red Chocola fruit. Purple Chocola fruit. Find three types of chocola fruit here. Then I let you pass. There's a really cool effect in the GBA version where chocolate root splits into three pieces that separate and change color to reflect the different color of the different fruits. I'm a little sad that that effect was ditched in this version because dang, it was cool on GBA. Hello, great Deku Tree. Look, guys, I'm here. Luigi is the Kokiri who will stop 
Ganondorf. Ow. Wow. Critical. Excuse me? What did you just say to me, Mr. Shy Guy? Um, let's see. Gideon, we need to go back to Kirby. I just learned if you go to the roof of the inn, Kirby sits on the roof and looks at the sky. Oh! Well, I was thinking of maybe going back to, um, to, uh, Epic Yarn every once in a while for the odd, uh, one-off art stream. So, who knows? Maybe we'll check that out. Um, I also have, wait, let's see, I also like the regional stamps they added to the save album. Me too! Again, there's a lot of nice, like, really little details in this version of the game that I really like. There's a, there's an attention to detail here that I love. No, go back now, right now. Cherry, we're in the middle of the Chucklehuck Woods. The, 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 uh, Cherry, I don't know if you noticed... I don't know if you noticed, but this stream is called GSV Produ Productions Presents Mario Luigi Superstar Saga Plus Bowser's Minions. We'll, we'll, don't worry. There's a bomb tied to my chest and... Oh no. Sorry, Cherry. We'll, we'll, don't worry, we'll check it out. We will check it out. Score's not bad. It's not right now. I'm actually looking forward to May because I'm going to be working on my game with a colleague of mine. Nice! Heck yeah! That's exciting! Refreshing herbs. Is it parsley? Is it cilantro? Is it basil? What kind of herbs are we talking about here? Too soon, too soon! It's just instinct for me to press both A and B at the same time. Fuzzbush! Freddy Fuzzbush. Fuzzies! Touch fuzzy, get dizzy! Different fuzzy. Oh, I need to use... I keep forgetting. I need to actually use... Um, whatchamacallit. I need to actually use my bros attacks in order to uh, get the advanced command. What's the stash stat? Okay. So the stash stat is basically your luck value. Um, stash shows a character's lucky mustache power. A bigger number means more lucky numbers and better deals when shopping. So basically, luckies, lucky hits are like critical hits in any other RPG. Um... And also, you get discounts. You, genuinely, you get discounts in the stores in this game the more luxurious mustaches Mario and Luigi have. So, it's, it, yeah, it, it's your luck stat and your charisma stat all rolled into one. <laughs> but you have to really give it some time, otherwise you don't get very good rolls. I'll, I'll, I'll roll a stash stat here. Um... Two, not bad. There was a four on that. Charisma, basically. Yep. There are herbs for pasta vajul. Exactly. Pasta vajul! Ha! Huh? Yeah. If I get a lucky hit, I'll point it out. Um, but the higher your, your, your stash stats are the more likely you... Oh, see, right there! We got a lucky hit, and lucky hits deal more damage. They're basically critical hits in any other game. Uh, critical hits in this game are just to tell you you found what attack an enemy is weak to. Um, but actual lucky hits are like your traditional RPG criticals. Um, yeah. There we go. Pest nut. <gasps> Golden bean! No! Man. How conveniently timed. I know, right? That was almost scripted. I mean, it's a Toho inspired game, and I'm going to be working on the art. Ooh. Oh, so it's, it's, it's going to be a bullet hell. Very nice. Hey, there's always room for more bullet hells in the world. Okay. 
okay, here's what I here's what I want to know though, right? If a bullet hell is a game where there's just bullets all over the screen, what does a bullet heaven look like? It it, it is. <laughs> Wait, hear me out. Hear me out. A bullet heaven is where instead of dodging a million and one attacks, right? Instead of dodging like thousands of bullets, you're the one shooting all of those bullets. So do. <laughs> I showed our friend the tweet you told. Put it to Jen. Nice. She said, "Oh yes, absolutely. This is perfect for them. <laughs> it is." So you show you showed them showed them the tweet. I'm glad. I'm glad you showed that to them. Cause it is. It's it's exactly zero and Evelyn. It's it's that. That's that's just that's canon. We were back and then we buffered again. It was Jover. Oh. It was Jover and then we were back and then it was Jover again. Oh, poison! Oh, dear. Actually, I gotta say, that is something I really like about this game. That they actually kind of, like, utilize the... So, unlike the other Mario Luigi games, there's no badges or anything for extra mechanics that the second screen is used for. So, instead, they just use it to display Mario and Luigi's status along with their stats. And I really like that. Oh. Man. See, um, I know absolutely. Ooh, Bubbles gear. We got some gear. I know absolutely nothing about Toho, so I'll see what happens. Nice. That from what I've heard, they're classics. Getting a bullet heaven is just coin heaven from Mario Three. I mean, yeah, but where's the bullets? Are the bullets the coins? <laughs> Jover, we're back. Jover. <laughs> Whack. Bam. Do we get more gear? Yeah. I wonder if you're more likely to get gear if you if you finish off enemies with bros attacks. Oh, bad timing on my part. Get the jump badge. We got too much inertia. Tried to hit the jump. Let's see. What's this new gear that I have acquired? Uh, bubbles gear. Bubbles gear. Chateau owner pants that guard against poison. Oh, that's just an upgrade. What do Mario's current pants do? Lessens damage after failed defense actions. What kind of pants does Luigi have on right now? Blue jeans. Thick jeans that automatically restore HP. You know... We're going to get rid of these cosmic brownie pants in favor of the bubbles gear. So that sounds pretty good. The coins are the bullets. Ah. I see. Queen's token. Oh, the rookie emblem. Let's see. Dropped by rookie. Powers you up in battle. That. That's a pretty big improvement. Let's see. How would that affect Luigi? Uh. Let's give that... It gives Mario a bigger boost than it does Luigi. Let's give it to Luigi since I think... Well... Yeah, I'd say Luigi could use it more. Because now... Let me just check their stats. Because now their stats are probably a little more even, right? Yeah, now their stats are more even. Okay. So it's the coin shooter for Brawl? Yes! That would be a, a bullet heaven, I suppose. Um, So I gave that to Luigi. What's the get the jump badge? 
Get the jump badge. Strengthens battle initiation attacks. Ooh! That's kind of cool. I don't really need that. Um... What is the Queen's token? The Queen's token we get we got from defeating Queen Bean. Um, it, I'm not sure what stats it increased, but it is quite refined. Solo jump attacks restore HP. I think I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Um, I'm confident enough in my battle attack in my my, my, my my battling skills that I don't really need the the attack increase when going into battle. Potion setup. I'm going into battle. I found another one. I did. I'm too. Uh oh. Well, more shy guys just means more exp. So I ain't gonna complain. Too soon. Whack. There we go. More? Nope. Ain't nobody coming to help you there, bud. I wonder if this game follows the rule that, um, characters, so, like, I know, uh, I think Thousand Year Door does this. Yeah, I think Thousand Year Door did this, and I think this game does it too, where there's kind of an unspoken rule in battle that if an enemy summons more enemies onto the field, the enemies that were summoned cannot summon additional enemies. It never works. Um, which is never stated, but is something I noticed. Purple Chuckle Huck Cave. There we go. It says coins. Let's see. Yeah. Super Syrup. Super Syrup! are great. Still have never gone to one. Unless the Renaissance Fair counts as a convention. I'd say that kind of counts. The rule sounds right. I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's never stated, but I noticed it myself. I don't know if it applies to this game, but I remember it applying in Thousand Year Door. Um, where, like, if a Dry Bones builds a Dry Bones that new dry bones can't build another dry bones. Oh, there's something down there. Oops. Um, yeah, if a dry bones builds a dry bones, it can't summon another one onto the, the, the summon, the built dry bones can't summon a new dry bones. But, I have to restart the room. Uh, so like if you want to use dry bones or even Koopa Trolls uh, for grinding, you need to, or even fuzzies. If you want to use dry bones, Koopa Trolls or fuzzies, for grinding, you need to keep the original one alive so that it will continue summoning new enemies onto the field. I could be wrong about that with Paper Mario. That could be a Mario and Luigi thing, but I feel like that's... I feel like that applies to both series? I forget. Went to a train show when I was younger with... If that counts... Th yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. My, dear Luigi Mario, Maro, I do not think you realize the company you are in. I geek out about trains all the time, so yes, train shows count as conventions. Absolutely. <gasps> da -da -da -da. You got the chur the the churkle the churkle. Ah yes, my favorite color, churkle. You got the purple chocola fruit. Pr Princess Daisy's favorite color is purple, uh, and and Princess Peach likes pink. Uh, I I bet you can't guess what my favorite color is. What? D do you know what my favorite color is? Green. Yippee! Dude, I love trains. They're so cool. Yes! Yes! 
Oh my gosh. We were ha we were discussing the big boy. Uh, I was playing Pizza Tower and we were discussing the Union Pacific big boy a few weeks ago. Um, oh, you are in good company, my friend. Churkel is my favorite color. See? You get it. Whenever I... So typically at the beginning of a stream, I'll show like a, a commercial or a trailer for whatever game I'm about to play. Um, but for on weeks when I've run out of trailers, I usually just show cool footage of trains I can find. Woo beans! You've heard of cool beans? These are woo beans. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum. I like the little, the little butterflies fluttering around the battlefield. They're nice. Sherwood's favorite pony, go. Um... Would it be cheating to say Derpy? <laughs> Only one he trusts because that's who he gets his mail from. Either that or Pinky. <laughs> Love Pacifics, they're awesome. Yeah! else would be Sherwood's favorite. Oh no! Sherwood, no, I know who Sherwood's favorite would be. Sherwood's favorite would be Cheese Sandwich. Full stop. Full stop. <laughs> so Waldo. Yes. Whack. Grew up watching Thomas the Tank Engine a lot as a kid, so trains were basically my childhood. Same! Yes! Me too! That, that Thomas was my life as a kid. So I've played music from it before stream before, specifically um, uh, Instrument Maniac or, or Luke Pickman's uh, covers. I, I sometimes play them before streams. Um, that was my life as a kid. I love, I, I, I got the, the, the full compilation of the Railway series for Christmas this past year. Um, it's been a delight reading the books. Um, that's just... Oh! You're in good company. And you are good company. Woo! Spin! Hammer! da da ra pa pum pum ya da 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 I think both the red and white beans are down this, or fruits, are down this path. Yep. Well, the the higher path is for one, and this path is for the other. Hammer! The gusto Luigi puts into his hammer. Hammer! He rolls his tongue on that. It's really good. Okie dokie. Hammer! Hammer! See. Got the Railway Series book whenever I was like 10 for Christmas. What a great gift that was. Yeah, that's a wonderful gift. Uh, oh, no. I'm so used to the... G oh, hey! So, fun fact, if Mario and Luigi ever get separated uh, in this version of the game, the other character's portrait gets blacked out. In the original GBA version, there's actually separate sprites for Mario and Luigi holding up pictures of the respective missing brother. Um whenever they are like when, whenever you're on like the the, the gear or stat screen um sadly that didn't that did not make the the, the the transition into this version of the game oh we gotta get mario we gotta get mario back uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. And then we switch to Luigi, and bonk, and we're good to go. I do miss those minor shots in the original. I do too. Go. Go. Uh. Go, Luigi. Yeah. There is there is a lot of little things with this game's charm that I do genuinely miss. Go, 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 go. There we go. Da, 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 da. Not to say that, like, this version of the game doesn't have its own unique flair and its own unique charm, 
But there are a couple little things I wish they had kept and retained. Um, actually, I made a train set pretty recently. If anyone wants to see that, problem is I can't post images here. If you post it, if you got Twitter, and you post them on Twitter, you can feel free uh, to, to tag me in the post. And I'll take a look at it. Or even just send it to me via DM. I'm at Nintan Messenger. Um, ah! Here, I'll, even, I'll even post my uh, Twitter handle in, in the chat so that it's easy to find. Nintan. It's in the description as well, but I'll just make it easy and, and post it here. That's my Twitter handle right there. Yeah. Whack. That's if you have Twitter, of course. Um, that certainly is, is the helpful part, is actually having it. Um, mushroom. Oh. Yeah. But honestly, though, that, that is one thing I do really like about this game. Something I like with remakes is I always like it when there's reason to play either version of a game. It is nice when there is a definitive version of a game. But remakes where there's like, okay, here's my, why you might want to play the remake, or here's my, why you might want to play the original. This game certainly is like that, where there's pros and cons to both versions, and there's certainly reasons to play both versions. This game is, this version is a little easier, but has some more polished up graphics uh, versus the original, which has more, which has a much more cartoony flavor to the graphics, you know, it has more of a, a cel-shaded style, um, but it's a little bit more challenging in certain areas. So there's certainly, there's certainly a lot of pros and cons to either version that makes it like, well, if you want this, you can play this version, or if you want this, you can play this version. Um, and I like that. I like that there's, there's reason to play, to still play the original, or to just check out this version. Gideon is a liar. I am Nintendo Messenger. Who do I believe? One tells only truth. One tells only lies. Of course, you could always just, you know, look at the Twitter profile and see. But, you know. Whack. Nostalgic attachment can be valid as long as you aren't too negatively biased towards the remake. Or vice versa. I would agree. And that's the thing. Is even from... A non-nostalgia bias standpoint, I would say that the original is still very much worth it. Um, I don't necessarily know which one is better, because again, they do both have their 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 strengths and weaknesses. Um, but I would say they're that both versions are worth it. You sent me a fox. What? You sent me my favorite animal in the whole wide world. Well, golly gee willikers, Cherry, I gotta have me a look. <gasps> look at him. Look at him. He's styling. Look at this guy. You guys gotta see this fox. Raises from chair. I am Sportacus. <laughs> I really hoped that's where you were going with that. Look at this fox. Look at him. He's he's so stylish. I love him with his sunglasses. He looks so inquisitive. He's just a little guy. He's just a little man. We're going to put him right right here. I might need to draw Sherwood in a pair of those now. Um, I'd say I prefer the GBA version, but I like the 3DS version too. See, and that's the thing about this about this game. I really like that this is one of those games, this is one of those remakes, because oftentimes you have it where people are like, oh, this remake's evil, it's horrible, it, it spat on my children and burned my crops and soiled my quilts and stepped on my chickens and, 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 and brought a plague of famine upon my family for the next thousand years. A lot of people treat remakes like that sometimes. And I'm really glad with this remake, the, the, the pretty common consensus is, no, it's good. You can like both. Both are valid. And I'm really happy because this version of the game 
is great. The original version is also great. They're both fantastic games, and I'm really glad that this game gets gets the love it deserves. I am the I am the granddaughter of the great Chuckle Room. This is my room. I may say, how dare you enter a woman's room uninvited? Well, since you're here, I'll share my secrets with you. Have you noticed the spots on the ground that look like this? These are spots where beans lie buried in the ground. If the red one uses his hammer and the green one digs beneath the earth, the beans will pop out of the spot on the ground. There are a total of five beans hidden here. Find all beans and I will open the door up ahead. Let me take a sip of my water before I read more chat. Kitty, and I hope you're ready for people to hate the TTYD remake because of some slight change or mess up none of us foresaw. Here's what I'm here's what I'm getting ready for, right? I am prepared for Nintendo to not change the dialogue and the epilogue where uh, Vivian returns back to the Shadow Sirens and gives them a second chance. And is like, hey, Beldum, I'm giving, you know, you're, you were horrible to me all game, but I'm going to turn the other cheek and be the more mature person and say, hey, I had a change of heart and I had the chance to have a change of heart. Mario let me see the light, so I'm going to give you the same second chance Mario gave me. And EG, isn't that a great part of Vivian's character development? That even though Beldum was absolutely horrible and abusive to her, she still forgives her and gives her a chance to be a better person and have a second chance and turns the other cheek and Vivian is an objectively good person and a great character for that and it would be absolutely absurd to change her dialogue at the end of the game like some people are clamoring for and say that Vivian's character arc is absolutely nullified by the text she has at the end of the that Goombella has about her at the end of the game hmm. people are gonna get mad because that's not going to be changed and I'm prepared for that because people who want that to be changed do not have proper media literacy thank you you found all five you've done very well if you find marks like this on the ground dig immediately Oh yeah, people are gonna riot when the t when they learn that. Gideon, Gideon, breathe. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Night night. Sorry, I I, I saw that t and it's. Oh, I'm not gonna name. I don't want to start drama. I do not want to start drama because I have nothing against any individuals in particular. But I saw that take a cup a month or two ago from one particular person in the Paper Mario community who is constantly starting trouble. And I thought to myself, just stop, just stop, just stop. Gideon bittering cherry style. Yep. And I saw people jumping on that like, yeah, yeah, they, yo, yeah, F-bell them. They need to, ch I'll be so freaking pissed if they don't fix Vivian's story and make her not forgive her wretched sin. It's like, no, that's a whole part of Vivian's character arc. You don't, no. I do! I want to start drama! Okay, then you start it. I, um, that makes me so... It frustrates me. It doesn't make me mad, but it's just... It's frustrating, you know? To just completely misunderstand the point of a, a character's arc that severely. <laughs> Aw. Alright, who, who, who wants to pet the caterpillar? Who, who, who wants to pet the caterpillar? Let's explore. Go! Alright. Uh, I probably should have restored my bros points. Oops. Here's the shtick with Wiggler. You gotta take out the segments first. I can sort of see both sides, but I don't think it's worth worthy of potential drama. Oh, absolutely. It's not worthy of potential drama. I just think it's silly and stupid, and people are like, this needs to be changed. This needs, it needs, in all caps, needs to be changed. But it's like, no, it doesn't need to be changed. I've not heard many positive things about the Paper Mario community, so I prefer to stay away and play the other Mario RPGs. That's the thing. 
any community you get into, any community, any fandom, there's always going to be bad apples. But one bad apple don't spoil the whole bunch. That's my belief. The obnoxious people in a fandom will always have louder voices and more prominent voices than the smaller amount... Well, actually, the smaller amount of obnoxious people will always have a more apparent voice than the larger group of not obnoxious people. It's the loud minority amongst the silent majority. So that's my belief. The Paper Mario fandom is full of tons of very creative and wonderful individuals. And then there's the obnoxious people. <laughs> Getting in there filled with pro what is filled with protein? I mean, I've always felt Vivian deserved better, but I'm not expecting them to change that. That is a valid take that Vivian would grant the same courtesy. Exactly. Vivian grows as a character and becomes the better person and is willing to show forgiveness and, 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 and you know, be better. And that's what makes her a wonderful character. That's part of her growth. That's part of her journey. And to say that she should... Cha her dialogue should change and she co shouldn't forgive and shouldn't be the bigger person kind of nullifies that that arc the wiggler gideon the, the wiggler the cherry we're not eating the wiggler cherry we do not eat wiggler in this house that's that would be heinous this is something i really like about the mario and luigi games where the wiggler boss the wiggler boss is in like every Mario and Luigi game. And the solution to defeat it is the same in all of them. Hit the segments to calm it down. And I like that. It's, it's fun. It's tradition. Bonk. But they're filled with protein. Cherry, I ain't eating bug protein. That's gross. Nah. -uh. Yeah, there's a lot of other things that are... So, wait, Cherry, let me get this straight. You're not going to eat meat, but you're going to eat bugs? It's not worth the drama, but it does bug me a bit how quickly Beldum gives up evil, and we don't really see the character develop or get Beldum's attempt or change. That's fair. See, maybe some extra post-game dialogue or even a cutscene or something to see Beldum change her ways would be nice. The humiliation of defeat is also a marvelous way of changing someone's ways. But, see, that would be a good, that would be a good change. Um, oh, we beat the Wiggler. I don't want to be involved in any drama whatsoever. Even in something silly as video game dialogue. Same. Exactly. I don't want to either. Because, li listen, I can disagree with some of these points. But at the end of the day, as much as I disagree with someone's take on Paper Mario, I'm sure they are a wonderful and fine individual. And if I was ever sat down in a room with them, I would probably have a great time talking about why I love Paper Mario and why they love Paper Mario. And at the end of the day, I think that's more important. It's more important to discuss why you love something rather than tearing each other apart for why you don't love something. Is that contradictory? Is, am I a hypocrite for expressing my opinions of, of disagreement with someone else's opinion just a moment ago? Maybe slightly. But that's just the nature of discussion, I suppose. But I think it's it's more fun and more productive to just, you know, have fun with things. Confession. Child me fought Wiggler for hours because I didn't know how to turn it yellow. In my defense, this was one of my first Mario games. That is fair. Listen, I, ta going back to Thousand Year Door... I had to restart my save, my first save file on Thousand Year Door because I didn't realize you could hold Koops' shell in place. Because I guess I just didn't realize read his dialogue. So you're good. Gideon, are Wigglers bugs? What are they made of? Meat? Goo? If they're made of meat, are they even bugs? What are Wigglers? Wigglers are bugs. They're bugs. They are they are they're insects. They're caterpillars. Uh, Wigglers are the Mario equivalent of caterpillars, so I guess they're bugs. Exactly, they're bugs. Disliking something is one thing, but constantly whining about it and shoving your words down other people's throats is another. That's true! That's also very true. Um, I'm gonna, I, 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 I pray, I pray that, that my hot take never gets back to anybody else big in the Paper Mario community or who am I? I'm gonna find myself in the middle of some hot drama. 
Gideon, you eat shrimp. No, 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 no. This conversation is not about me. I, I said to you, you're not going to eat meat, but you're going to eat bugs. Listen, shrimp is different. Shrimp is shrimp is 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 a uh, is is seafood. That's shrimp is a delicacy. Shrimp is a bug, yes, but it's a water bug. It's different. It's not gooey inside. Uh, let's give Luigi some stash points. Ooh. Uh, oh, hey, well that's good. And even thirty, we like that. Not a shrimp. A king prawn! No. No, it's a bug. Oh, I'm sorry. I made Wiggler cry. Yes, but it's a water bug. It's different. Uh, there we go. Oh, wait. No, we still need Mario to be small. Small Leo. My philosophy is do whatever you want as long as it's not hurting anyone or you're not be or you're being annoying about it and forcing it upon other people. Ag agree. See, and again, I would rather... That's the thing. Maybe I could be won over, right? May if, if, if I can be won over... Uh... <laughs> Wait a minute. Huh? Whoa! New tech unlocked. Check this out. Okay, so if Mario and Luigi aren't in a straight line when you, when um when mini mario is the selected action command luigi will just jump with the b button but if they're not aligned properly so that luigi will hit a heart block right instead of when, when he jumps he'll whack mario on the way down that's neat um but yeah, I could be, who knows, maybe I could be won over. But I think it's one of those things where, I don't know, discussion is always good. Discussion is always good. And who knows, maybe I could be won over to the point that it wouldn't ruin Vivian's character arc. If you want to have a civil discussion with me and talk about it, sure, I'll talk about it. But if you're just going to be obnoxious and, and, and shout your opinions at me all day, then that's that's not really a discussion. That's just you wanting to hear yourself talk. Um my experience, these loud, rude individuals are pretty thick-skulled and obsessed with their own opinions. So even consider reasoning. That's true. Gideon, being from the water does not make it any less of a bug. Same with crabs and lobster. Gideon, would you eat crawfish? The best part of Caterpillar's running gag is that Gideon doesn't remember the order. I don't. I do not. No, it's different. Because again, caterpillars are like gooey on the inside. Shrimp is not... <laughs> You found all three Chocola fruit types. I am amazed. Very well. You pass. Very well. Go. I will sleep now. Good night. Good night, Chocola Root. Whoa! Hey! Yes! Oh, yes! The path is open! You are stuck in... We were stuck and couldn't get past here, see? I'd have been waiting for a couple of schmoes was brilliant. All right, rookie, let's not waste any more time. We're golden, see? If you don't like something and want it changed, you should express what you want directly, not saying blank sucks. Exactly. A lot of the, I, I, not, not, you know, I, I don't, yeah. No, he's not a he's not symmetrical anymore. I know it's in, it's like what he in the original he just stepped forward and you walked around him on either side, but now he's like off to the side. Spawns. I'm back for the last bit. Welcome back, Luna. Howdy do. Hello, hi. We're discussing Paper Mario discourse. Howdy do. Oh! Hidden block! See, it helps to just randomly jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Oh, delicious. Bowser needed room to pass. He did. Oh! That makes sense. Bowser's sprite needed room to pass. I can see now why they did that.
Here we go. All right. What do we need to drink? Soda. What do sodas call their, their, their dads? Pop. A hippie's favorite soda? Granola cola. My name is Bubbles. And I am the ultimate comedian. With laughing and chortling and har har har. Why is he dressed up like a pear? Ah, Monsieurs. Indeed, what you see before you is the legendary of Sodas, the Chocola Cola Reserve. I am pleased to tell you this Chocola Reserve is yours to enjoy. Ha <laughs> ha! I have worked on this Chicola Reserve for a thousand years, telling it joke after joke so it would mature and then mature some more and yet more. Until at last, the greatest soda of all would be complete with the fizz and the tastiness. Okay, if Bubbles... Listen, if this is the greatest soda of all time, Right? If this is the greatest soda of all time, and he's feeding this soda corny jokes, then my corny jokes can make one heck of a Chocola Cola. Wait. Um, the crawfish question was the slash gen. I was curious. They're like lobsters, and they're the size of a finger. Ah! I always thought he was a potato, but I see the stem now. Yeah, I always thought he looked like a pear. Unless you boil them alive, chair. Oh. oh, KG's here for the lobster. Because it is a soda of such high caliber and repeat. Rude guests meet the fate like another. Un, de, du, trois. That's no ordinary soda, see? We can't stand up against such a beverage. The great chuckle hawk reserve is a thing to savor, with the flavor and tang and yum in the belly. Whoa! The cake is alive and the soda's alive! Ah, it is wonderful. So wonderful! The greatest soda shines. However! That was not only... That was not the only hidden soda power that my jokes have prayed over these thousand years. Now I insist you fully experience the taste, the aroma of the Chocola Reserve. Bon appetit! Boss fight! This is the Chocolator. The Chocolator? The Chocolator. This is a beast. So this thing has... Can we attack the shield? We can't. Huh. You could attack the shield in the GBA version. Or maybe that's part of a separate attack. I forget. It aged so much it became jello. I think this soda is expired. It is beyond its date. Ah, here's how we attack the shield. Oh! The startup time, like the, the, the cooldown time on... Oh, we have to jump on it first, I think. The cooldown time and the startup... The starting time and the cooldown on the uh, the hammer guard command is a lot slower in the GBA version, which makes this a lot harder. Jelly Beast! You have to boil like 80% 80 80 of crustaceans, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds accurate. Right, we need to attack it this way first. Bam. Excellent! Oh, he's got a gun! The soda has a gun. I'm pretty sure you have to destroy the shield first. Oh well, well no. See now, now he is in—he's in prime. Oh, am I? 
Ah! I keep pressing A when I need to press B and pressing B when I need to press A. Alright, we'll try destroying the shield first. What? I pressed the button! Hmm! Oh! Oh yeah! Well, I guess you don't have to do the command successfully to get the, uh, the advance for it, but okay. Alright, B, then B again, then A. Yeah, the speeds of some attacks threw me off when I played this version for the first time from muscle memory. Same! I'm, I'm expecting some of these attacks to come out slower. Three, four, five, six, seven. I believe the advance for that is infinite in the original. Chopper Bros is one of those moves where whether you're using the standard command or the advanced command, it's just a great move. There is no, like, better or worse version of Chopper Bros. Let's see. So, random question I forgot to ask. How would the visit to the Bean Bean Kingdom go for the hooligans? I can't English. I messed up the sentence. Don't worry, Luna. I understood. I read that perfectly, even if that was messed up. Um, I think, okay, here, here, here's what I'm thinking. It would go very similar to our encounter with Rookie and Popple here, where the hooligans are just kind of, they're, they're, they're passing through, and then Bean hears there's this legendary soda. And Bean wants to try this legendary soda. Fang's like, well, you know, it, I mean, it could be an interesting heist. Fang wants to steal the goblets. Bean wants to steal the soda. And, and Bark is just kind of here for the ride. Um, and so that's that that's that's how their journey to the to the Bean Bean Kingdom starts. I don't know if they find the Chocola Reserve, but I certainly think they'd find something. Actually, I think I will use one of my super syrups. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, yeah. 39 total. Not bad. They would wind up running into like Popple and whoever his current rookie is. Um Fang be like, who's this Mook? Mook! Who you calling Mook, you paluka? Oh, you're gonna call me a How dare you! You think you can get away with calling me Paluka? Ain't nobody calls me Paluka, pal. Oh, I missed. 36 damage, that's not bad. Oh, he's small. Barrel. Now I think we bring out the jump attacks. Um, woo. Bam. How do sheep come to sleep? What do sheep come to sleep? Woo, hello. He's a bear trip now. It's Midbus, kind of. <laughs> Wait, no, you mean it's Midbus as and that's his current rookie. I like that idea. That's funny. Bam, bam. Oh no, Midbus is dead. Hmm. Well, may may maybe they visit between the events of Superstar Saga and um, and uh, maybe they visit during the, the events of Partners in Time, right? Um, yeah, they accidentally meet Peasley, and he gives Fang a flower. Bean goes, ooh, and the background intensifies. And Fang is like, I don't know how I feel about this right now. But this is a nice flower. I can sell this for a lot. What's that? A flower that gives me unlimited access to the castle and to its treasury? Prince, you sweep me off my feet. You can, you can sweep me off my feet any day. Give me access to that royal treasury. Bam! Bonk. Midbus was frozen alive, wasn't he? He was. We don't know what happens to him. It is never established what happens to Midbus after. Like, I don't know if they add 
um, some kind of addendum for his for his plot line in the 3DS version of Inside Story. But the last we see Midbus, he is turned into a a, 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 a cold air dispenser, and that's it. His current rookie, or rookies, are the Weasel Trio! Oh no! Fang shows up and is like, You've gotta be kidding me. You hired these guys? These are your rookies? Well, well, they're certainly a lot better looking than your mooks. Hey, don't you insult my mooks. They're good mooks. No! No, dear! But the jokes, the puns, the humor I've saved up over the last thousand years... I love. Midbus is such a great rival for Bowser. I honestly wish he could come back and fight him again. Yes, Midbus is such a cool rival rival for Bowser. Uh oh. Ow. Wah. Ooh. Okay, so we have now been separated from Mario. Mario is MIA. So I'm gonna give you guys the choice. Should we continue to fight as Luigi? Or should we avoid as many enemies as possible to keep Mario and Luigi's stats and experience even? Um, I mean, Luigi has King Boo. Peach has Madam Peach. Oh, uh, 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 Madam Grape. Uh, we need Bowser versus Mid Midbus rematch. Yes! Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. His rookie is Kenopio. I like that. Kenopi. Honestly, Bowser just needs another game. Yeah, Bowser needs another game outside of just an RPG where he's playable. Could we get a Bowser starring game? A game that just is about Bowser? That would be really cool. All right, it, you guys want Luigi to fight. So you know what? I've never really done this before. Typically in this game... I, I make sure that Mario and Luigi's stats don't get too separate. But you know what? Luigi's gonna fight! Normally, in... Oh, I, I, wait, I wonder if Luigi has different voice clips for initiating a first attack or not. Luigi, number one! Ha-ho! let us go! Mario! Little chunky. Yeah, in the original, Luigi goes, Mamma mia, when, 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 when initiating battle on his own. Let's see. Ooh, I realized that I missed the entire Fang Issue 3 discussion, didn't I? Yeah, that was when I was in the sewer. Um, I just kind of hit some, some basic bullet points on it, though, talking about how I really enjoyed it. Um, specifically, I highlighted um, the the scene where, where the boys are fighting, um, or, or rather, are going up against uh, Heavy Rider. That was so cool. I loved seeing that so much. Uh, seeing, actually getting to see the hooligans working together as a team and Fang using his brain and, and being the brains and, and telling them, hey, here's here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan. And them enacting the plan and it working was just... Ah, it was good! I have ideas for a Bowser-focused game. Maybe I'll go into them sometime. Please do! Imagine a Bowser game that's just Bowser destroying the Mushroom Kingdom. That would be great. The the, the 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 final boss of the game is Mario, and it's it's a scripted loss fight. Okay, hear me out though, right? Bowser side game where Bowser gets sick and tired of getting his butt handed to him in the Mushroom Kingdom, so he decides to go invade another kingdom. That'd be cool. Yeah, it's amazing. It is. The whole scene with, um, with you know, with, where you're just like observing essentially the hooligans platforming around on, um, on the the stolen Eggman battle cruiser was just so cool. And like that could be concept art. That that could be concept art for a hooligans game. And I just I want that to be real. I was glad. I was more glad of two of my head cannons became canon. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean... You mean that Bark knits? Because Bark knits. 
I was happy about that too. It's like, wow, we've talked about that before. I love seeing Bark knitting. What other b hobbies does Bark have? Now, now we just need to see Bark stuffing people in holiday sweaters. And then we're good to go. <gasps> Mario! Aw. Uh, don't... Mario! Come back! Don't worry, bro. I'll get you out of there. Bye-bye. Ho-ho! Oh. Oh, Mario, you're looking a little, uh, a little sloshy there, my guy. Imagine Bowser just French revolutioning another kingdom and making it his own. That'd be cool! Mm -hmm. Well, look at this! A very Mario-esque fellow and uh, Lou, Lou, uh, some other guy. We went to the, we, we went to the place and we got the thing and we got the soda. What? What is it? Mario's got his filled to the brim with the Chocola Reserve. It's sloshing around in his insides. Gross. My premise. The world is invaded by Kraken-themed aliens. Bowser Jr. and Bowser is kicked from their castle. Bowser fights these aliens via beat-em-up gameplay. <gasps> Viva la revolution! That sounds really cool. Bowser beat-em-up. Yes, please. Give me a Bowser brawler beat-em-up. That would that would be great. It's a just waterway, Mario. Probably. That's terrible. It's so disgusting. We must contact Lady Lima immediately. Hmm. By the way, what's Chocola Reserve? Shh, I have no idea. Mamma mia. <gasps> oh, good music. Queen, you're still not looking too good. Queen Bean has been in a deep sleep. She's just as you see her now. Do you truly obtain some of the legendary Chocola Reserve? Gross. What? Ah! There's the belly fletchworm. Disgusting little thing. <gasps> the magical transformation. Look at her. It's, it's her. It's the lady herself, Queen Bean. Oh, success. A truly repugnant, yet truly tremendous success. Queen Bean has returned. Ah, that's the hardest I've laughed in a long, long time. Well done, Lady Lena. No, your highness. It is not I, but rather the Mario Bros who you must thank. So Mario probably has drugs in his insides. Well, I mean, no, but a lot of alcohol. <laughs> See, love it. Plays to the strength of Bowser. It's a different genre that Nintendo hasn't typically made and puts Bowser in a hero position. Yeah. Bowser teams up with the Kraken scientist backstabbing his kind who helps Bowser by using coin medals to make armor suit power-ups. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. So Cacklet has stolen Princess Peach's voice and the Bean Star. It was my fault. Nonsense! But why would Cacklet steal the Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Bowser Warriors. Yes! <gasps> the Bean Star is the protector of this land, and it has the power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such power from being used for evil, the Bean Star was cast into a deep sleep. This, this makes me really happy because these same storybook pages appear in the original GBA version and they, they're not like modernized redrawn. No, they're like, this is just those original I illustrations in HD and I love it. It is said that a, that a hero, no, it is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Bean Star from its slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. Well, Peach's illustration is a little different, but either way. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. So the reason Cacletta stole Princess Peach's voice... 
Ah, aha! She must be planning to awaken the Bean Star and fulfill all of her desires. How many relics are related to granting anything? Let's see. We've got um, the Star Pieces, which form Star Road, which grants wishes. We've got the Bean Star, which later on gets separated into pieces, uh, which grants wishes. We've got... Um, let's see. What else? Oh, we've got um, the Star Rod from Shooting Star Summit that grants wishes. Uh, let's see. We've got the Pure Hearts and the Dark Prognosticus, which uh, can be used to kind of grant wishes. Um, the Crystal Stars don't grant wishes. They just seal away demons. Um, let me think. Uh, what else do we have? Um, the Dark Star grants evil wishes. Um, the Z Egg from uh, Whatchamajig from Dream Team, I think that grants wishes. Uh, Mario games really like granting wishes. Actually sung Peaches in a Luigi voice at my sophomore homecoming and don't regret it. Good. That sounds amazing. There's no mistaking her one true desire. To rule the world. <laughs> Fear not. I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. And we're prepared. Card for card, we have a better hand than she does. Your Highness, Prince Paisley has arrived. Perfect timing. Master Mario, Master Luigi, head out to meet, to meet Prince Paisley. Whoa. What's the name of that actress? What What's her name? Um, who played... The voice I'm going for for Queen Bean is sort of a slight imitation of Kathy Bates, of the actress Kathy Bates. She played um, the, 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 oh, the, she, well, she played the unsinkable Molly Brown in Titanic. She was the, the one CEO in the office. I love her as an actress. And like, her, she is like my ideal Queen Bean voice. It would be great if no one attacked the town or castle anymore. Yeah, that'd be nice. Ba 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 ba! It's him! <laughs> Cheers to Red and Greeny. Thank you for your help earlier. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off. He calls Luigi Greeny. <laughs> Prince Peasley, excellent work on your mission. Have you learned the whereabouts of Cacletta? <laughs> Thanks to you. Absolutely. Wow. wow. <laughs> southwest, of, southwest of this castle is Wuhu University, our local research institution. Cacletta and her underlings have just snuck in there, into Wuhu University. Yes, of course! Wuhu University is the perfect place to awaken the Beanstar. I intend to march into Wuhu University right this instant. May we meet again. Fluffs his hair. Gideon, will you livestream Nights into Dreams? The Tiger LCD version. Sure, Cherry. Next April Fool's stream. <laughs> we'll add that to the Wheel of Pain. How about that? Master Mario! Master Luigi! This may be your chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are now allowed to that you are to be allowed to passage to the road to the Woo Hoo Hoo University. And there she goes. Woo! Can we access other parts of the castle? We can. Um, I have to begin making repairs to the castle courtyard gardens. They're right above us. Oh, the castle courtyard gardens are over here. Hooligan's thoughts on Prince Peasley. He said, listen, I, 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 I know uh, I know beans are technically ligams, but uh, this guy's a little uh, <clears throat> fruity, if you know what I'm saying. Dang, I thought you had fruity cravings. Not those kind of fruity cravings, Bean! <laughs> I will never resist the urge to reference the fruity cravings.
just, uh, and this goes here. There we go. And then... Oh, shoot. Wait. <laughs> Wait. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> Marvelous. Let's see. Um, Gideon, to no one who is... To no one... Gideon, no one has ever 100% speedrun Chicken Little GBA before. You can win a world record if you wanted to. I could. How long, Cherry... How long to beat.com? Chicken Little GBA. I need to know. I never knew you could access this area until now. I thought it was cutscene exclusive. Nope, you just gotta wander through the uh through the the, the archways here. Marvelous. Queen. <laughs> if you strike monsters with your hammer as, the, as you enter battle, it will lower their speed if the fight stopped. The higher your stash points are, the easier it is to get lucky hits in battle. I said hooligans, not just fangs. That's true. Well, fang was my opener. Um, I think Bean thinks he's neat. I think Bean would want to steal. Okay, here's my thoughts, right? Fang, okay, here, here, here's the plan. Here's the plan, right? Fang distracts Peasley by stealing his rose and threatening to sell it off on the black market. And in the confusion, Bean uses the opportunity to steal Peasley's little flying bean pedestal. And 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 Bark is just and and Bark, you know, grabs him and holds on to him while while chaos ensues. Um. Yeah. When the shopkeepers in this land see a fine, smooth mustache, they become strangely generous. Can we read the books? We cannot read the books. Mario can't read. Oh, is this goody two shoes? Oh, sorry. I. Th oh. Sorry, I was looking down at your shoes. I thought those were the real beans here. Bean would probably love Peasley. Bean would probably love the entire Bean Bean Kingdom. He would Be Bean would step foot into 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 Bean Bean Castle and be like, "I'm home." What? What? Bean? What are you talking about? What do you mean you're home? It's the Bean Bean Kingdom, Fang. I rule here. He would walk around the town with 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 with, with royal demeanor, like, "Yes." Oh, yes, my my lovely subjects. Hello, good day, and welcome to you. And they're all just looking around like, who's this duck? Bean would absolutely be enamored and distracted by Peasley's fabulousness. Yes. Bean would be standing there like, do the hair thing again. What? Do, do the sparkly hair thing again, where you make everything turn pink and yellow. I think we'll save this for later. Uh, maybe we'll save this for next. Actually, you know what? Okay. Here's, here's what we'll end off tonight with. Oh, music tape. So here's our current, um, our current passport photos for Mario and Luigi. Yes or no? Should we change Mario and Luigi's passport photos? Photos? Did you get your bogos binted? I think Bark would like the Chocola Cola Reserve. Bark would Bark Bark would be chilling out, sipping a delicious Chocola Cola. I think Bark would think Beasley was neat, but at the same time, like he would be urging, like nudging Fang and be like, "Stop teasing him! Stop teasing him! He can throw us in prison. He's the prince. Stop teasing him!" Ooh, 50-50 split on yes or no for changing the passport photos. Seven votes. Yes is currently leading with fifty percent with fifty-seven percent of the vote. Eight all eight votes. 62% of the vote goes to yes, so you know what? Two hours to beat Chicken Little GBA, 100%. I will consider it, Cherry. I will consider it. All right. 
So we'll change Mario and Luigi's poses. Oh, yes, yes, you're perfect. How about a picture? Right, oh yeah, let's do it. I'll snap a great picture of you. Well, want a picture taken? Yeah. Okay, one picture is 100 coins. 100 coins? Sure. Oh, yes, yes, I'm taking it. Okay, stand on there on that mat. Come on now. All right, quick vote. I think d down was down was was our options last time. So up left or right. Actually, what, I wonder what happens if we if we choose down. Maybe we have a different pose to choose from. Up left down right or down. Which direction should we should we should we hold for the pose? Dun -dun. Say fuzzy pickles. Okay. Ooh. Up is currently leading with forty percent of the vote. Five votes. Oh, we've got an up. We've got an upset. You can actually say no to him, and he'll lower the price to fifty coins. I'll remember that from Mario's photograph. All right, going once, going twice. Sold to majority vote. Five votes for up. Alrighty, are you ready? Stand still! I'll go pressing up, down, left, or right on the control stick, uh, the, the control pad to do a silly pose. Oh, it's the same pose. Uh, sorry. It was the exact same pose we had before, so I quickly defaulted to something else. So, oops. Alright, so now for Mario's pose, I'll let you guys uh, choose again. Down, left, or right. What's Mario's pose tonight? Get up, partner, then begin. Move whatever pose you're in. Pose in. Everybody pose. It's a dance that you can do with your girl or wife. Find a pose and stop. Positions everything in life. You'll find there's no telling when Bands will stop and start again Posing, everybody pose Posing, frozen, on Jamosin What do you mean? What do you mean I'm speeding? I'm just getting ready to cut out Skip, bop, bip, bop, bip, bip, bop, You know what? I like you guys. I'm gonna give you a sub, Gideon. Thanks, Ouija Mar Maro. Sorry I botched your name. Welcome aboard. You guys are so lazy, you just chose the first option. <laughs> How about for 50 coins? Yeah, okay. I'll haggle for 50 coins. Oh, yes, yes, I'm taking it. Okay, stand on that mat. Alrighty. You're up, Mario. I hope it's not the same pose again. <laughs> Say cheap, cheap. Well, we have essentially swapped Mario and Luigi's poses. Uh, technically, Luigi's pose was a cop-out because the, the majority vote was um, up. But when I realized up was the same pose, I panicked and chose down instead. Um, should I? Nah, it's fine. It's late. Three poles in a row and y'all guys just chose the first option. Guys, it is funny though because now Mario and Luigi have swapped poses. Okie dokie. Well, I would say that this is a really good place to leave off for the night. Um, so let's have us a little save and we can save anytime, any place, anywhere from the save menu, which is a new feature of this game. Um, the background of our passport po photos also changes depending on whether you took your photo in the Koopa Cruiser or here in the in, in the castle courtyard, which is a neat little detail. Well then, it is 12.03, so this it, it's pretty late. You pay this much. But yeah, it's 12.03. It's 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 late. No, use the block. Use the okay, fine. We'll use the block. We'll 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 use it's one screen away. We'll use the block. 
there. Technically, it's an album. There, we saved using the block. Alrighty. Well, um, but yeah, Ouija, thanks for coming along. As folks are saying in chat, I am here every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but yeah, this was a delightful stream. This was a really fun one tonight. I had a lot of fun. Minion Quest little left a lot to be desired. I don't know if we'll go back to it. Um, but if you guys want me to go back to it, I'll go back to it. But I'm not sure if I'll go back to it. Um, but yeah, this was a really fun stream. Thank you very much, uh, as always, everybody, for tuning in. Um, do you have a Discord, Gideon? I can send you my train stuff on there since I don't really use Twitter that much. Ah, uh, sure. I'm, uh, well, if you have Twitter send i'll send you i don't i don't really like sending my my discord publicly um but if you hippity hoppity over onto twitter i'll send you my um my discord number my dis my discord name uh via twitter dm uh yeah anywho it's late this outro is getting really long-winded anywho thank you very much for tuning in everybody i'm glad you could all make it out and thank you very much for for coming by and stopping by for another week of mario luigi we will resume next week Thanks for coming along. Have a great night, everybody. And as we as we say in the cartoons, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs>